All right, we back at it again. again. It's been some time, all right? Homegrown Radio, Chuck Dizzle, DJ Head. We got Legacy in the building, man. Legacy. Legacy, sure. the lineage of Dr. Sebi, his grandson, is with us right now. We've had the pleasure of knowing him for some years. Isaiah Bowman, welcome to the platform, brother. Finally. Appreciate you being Finally. here, man. Hey, it's a pleasure to be here. You know, um, it's a beautiful thing what your brother's doing. Thank you. Chuck brought up something uh, earlier, how we met at a previous radio station years back yeah uh, it, was, it was one yeah. of our it was one of, it was the market location yeah. oh okay. so he pulled up he pulled up to homegrown on market in inglewood yeah and i remember i was like because when he came i was like dude i remember i remember your face and i wasn't sure if you had did one of the other shows we were talking about the cousins oh and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we uh, had hella shows we had radio at the time shout out to fate and all them yeah. uh you were dropping off some product i believe with yeah. with uh simone i believe you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah. so shouts out to you man i mean obviously you've been carrying the legacy you've been doing a lot, a lot of things we got to talk about it's a lot it's, it's a, a lot, lot to get to I, yeah. I first and foremost uh congrats on the success of the business For um sure. but second of all like he's helped me and we don't we don't get to my story and all that. Please, but, please. But I want to get to, for the people who don't know who you are right. or don't believe who you are. Okay. Let's let's get all of your background, who you are, okay. wh where you hail from, your your story. And, and um, we got to get a, a close up. We got to op open open the jacket up and get them a close up <laughs> what they see, man. Come on now, let them yeah, let right. them get that close up. Right. PB, that's, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's G pops right there. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I am Dr. Sabi's grandson. My name is Isaiah Bowman. Um, firstborn grandchild. Um from Dr. Sebi and been in this business since I was 10 years old. So formulating products and learning herbs has been just second nature, you know, since I was a young boy. So carry on a legacy has been a big responsibility, big shoes to fill and still have a lot of work to do, but it's amazing to see someone transform. Yeah. You know, it's it's a beautiful thing, you know, because in this day and age, all we believe is the westernized way of medicine, right. and that's pharmaceutical drugs. So if our great-grandmothers took pharmaceutical drugs, then our grandmother, now we're taking pharmaceutical drugs, then we're falling in the path of what society want us to be, drug addicts, mm -hmm. legal drug addicts, and it's, and it's okay. And we complain and judge people that's on the street doing drugs as well. But every day you will go to your grandparents, your parents, and say, did you take that high blood pressure pill? Mm. Did you take that high cholesterol pill? Did you check your insulin level? And we forget that it goes back into food. Mm. So healing, for me, is it's fun. Honestly, do you now? Um, I remember when I first uh, when I first talked to you about not when I first I, I, I think I met you outside the marathon store in person. Yes, is that that is that where I remember? I remember meeting. Yeah, you. we met at Nipsey's hat release at the hat release. Yeah, in okay, front of the marathon. Store. And I remember you telling me. And what's funny is I'm pretty sure you get people like that all the time. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. right. Like, <laughs> all day. What? Like, bro, we can I cure. Mean, no, you know what I'm we got we got the products. We because right. he was like, yeah, you know, DJ Head, you know. Like I'm Isaiah, I'm, I'm you know, woo woo, and I'm just like, all right, for, for sure. sure, yeah, <laughs> right, <laughs> just like that, for, for sure. sure, yeah, that's what's yeah. up, for yeah. sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just the same thing. Like when people try to give you music, it's like, all right, yeah, it's, yeah. I'm the hottest shit out of Watts. It's right, like, all right, 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 for sure. But yeah. it is um, not a lack of love. It's just that like you hear it so, so much, you just I, become I numb it. to it. You right. know what I mean? I totally get it. I totally <laughs> what's the, what's the coldest way somebody done blew you off? You're not Doctor Sebi's grandson. <laughs> like what? Like, how are you to tell me I'm not Doctor Sebi's grandson? When, when in the era of living, someone can dictate and tell you who you are? Yeah. But it's like social media where you're lying. Mm -hmm. Well, you wasn't there when we was getting door slammed in our oh, face, God. and we was going to politicians, and my grandfather pulling out documentation. You wasn't there in those moments. So how can you tell me? Yeah. I was at those lectures and. When he was on KGLH and he's up at four in the morning doing front page. Yeah. yeah so LA has been our platform for decades. You know, um, we started off in Lamar Park. Where? Lamar Park is like home to me because mm -hmm. as a youngster, that's all I knew was Lamar Park because our store was right there. You know, shout out to Marla Gibbs. She believed in us and let us use one of her buildings that she had there. And, 
we opened up a store right in Lemur helping our community in the nineties. What are your early earliest memories of not only your grandfather but but your your family when it when it comes to introducing you know, something that's kind of foreign to us, right? Like, uh-huh. you scrape your knee or you get sick, <laughs> right. and you know the home, your friends are taking Tylenol, you know what I'm right. saying? But <laughs> right. are your memories of, like, nah, nah, we ain't on that? Okay, that's 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 a good one. That's a great question. Um, You know, uh, almond milk. Uh-huh. Almond milk back then, you know. It wasn't popular, for It sure. wasn't popular at all, <laughs> you know. Y'all look crazy. <laughs> right, we look crazy. Like <laughs> Pulling up to school with almond milk in the, in the, in the lunch like, pail. My, my friends are spending the night, and they like, what? Where's, the, where's, the, <laughs> where's the whole milk at? <laughs> and it's like, we don't drink whole milk in my house. We drink almond milk. They're like, almond milk? fuck is that? <laughs> and then they begin to like the taste of almond milk, and one of them go home and... Inquired by almond milk. And I'm like, you ain't drinking that. We drinking this. Yeah. So that's that's a moment. And uh I give you another one. Um quinoa. Mm-hmm. You know, quinoa wasn't popular at all. At so all. when my grandfather introduced quinoa when I was about 12, he's like, Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna eat this. I'm looking like what are right? <laughs> what are we right? eating, Grandpa? What is this? I'm like, Grandpa, this look like bird seeds. You tripping? <laughs> <laughs> he like, no. It has, it's full of nutrients, it's full of protein, real fiber, mm. real antioxidants that the bones in the body need. You're an athlete, you eat this. This is better than eating that cream of wheat and starch and grits. It didn't hold, he said, it's bleach. He said, no, we're going to eat this quinoa. Wait, let me ask you this. So he was introducing this for breakfast? That was breakfast. Oh, my God. So who eats quinoa That's for breakfast? That's what I'm saying. Like, I, 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 <laughs> not that to say breakfast. that. I'm just, that's a cold, like... So he was eating, like, as a breakfast cereal? So so we would eat my breakfast instead of eating grits and eggs. We're going to eat some portobello mushrooms scrambled. I mean, not scrambled, excuse me. Portobello mushrooms sauteed with that quinoa. That's breakfast. That's cold. With with avocado. And that would be my breakfast with sea moss. And you're how old at this time? I'm about... 12, 13 years old. Now, so were you resistant to it at first? And how long did it take for you to kind of like, all right, I was it was it a okay, I feel the difference? Or like how did you or was it, was, it just I, it kept getting forced on you? So it was no, like, it ex- was my grandfather would cook it to where it was amazing. So mm. it was delicious. It wasn't like something bad. It was like, okay, well, damn, grandpa, that's really good. Fire. So I'm like, I start wanting it every day. But then I started seeing the benefits as an athlete, what it did for me. It kept my bones strong. I played basketball. I Did played. you ever get hurt? I never had any injuries. Damn. Wow. So uh, when he was, when you say he would cook it, like obviously we think of cooking now. I'm thinking butter. I'm thinking like you know. No, oh no. What a flavor at? Where's the flavor? <laughs> the flavor. <laughs> what? Flavor. Yeah. He would put a little cayenne, sea salt, you know, pepper. No butter. No butter. How do you make mushrooms? How you cook mushrooms with no butter? <laughs> you don't. You don't need butter. Just get the grapeseed oil. It's better. Grapeseed oil. Yeah. So there's there's a substitution that what I what I've been hearing as far as my not I like not like I've done a lot of research, but having a wife that's a chef, there are different there's alternatives. If you really look into it, I think a lot of people don't know that. Right. And, and it's like if you do your research, you can kind of figure out like there are different methods to add flavor. Yeah. But it's, do you think it's just the lack of knowledge of people not wanting to do it, or is it really like? Um, the flavor being different, like, I mean, honestly, now the way the culture is shifting, mm-hmm. we we have more people. I remember quinoa wasn't in magazines. I'm looking at quinoa and cooking magazines now, and I'm proud. Like, wow, as a kid, it's mainstream. Y'all was weirdos. It was we was <laughs> yeah we would be called weirdos. <laughs> like, for real, you would think we was weird. Yeah, because you was eating Big Macs and mm-hmm. eating McDonald's, and I wasn't eating McDonald's. Man. You know, at ten years old, I got sick, real bad from a McDonald's burger. How? What, what do you mean? How'd you get sick? What happened? I, I spent the night at one of my family members' house. <laughs> they had that quinoa, <laughs> and, and and you know, tried to go against the teachings of my grandfather, and it almost cost me. I ended up very ill. Damn. Went to Children's Hospital, food poisoning, everything, and had to take sea moss, and that's what. Preventing me from, I felt like I was gonna die if I didn't have that sea moss. Honestly, when you so okay, so I'm just trying to. I want to get the. I want to get all of the early the backstory before we get up to the to the to the nitty gritty stuff. Yeah. But um, 
when because I like I like your personal journey just because you went through it just like we just like yeah. everybody else. You Every, know what I'm saying? You, you know, had to get accustomed to I had to get accustomed to it. I have I come from a, it's two different nationalities. I have a southern background where oh. my grandmother is cooking all this traditional soul food, and then there's the Bowman's <laughs> where right. my grandfather's like, no meat, no cheese, no <laughs> eggs, no dairy, no. You, you don't need that. That's garbage. It's like, Grandpa, all my friends is eating it. I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, well, okay, well, once my grandfather did this experiment with the beef, and I became ill from beef, I never wanted a burger again in my life mm -hmm. anyway. I said, if I get out of this, good, I would never eat another burger again. Yeah. So I never ate a burger. What was beef, the experiment? Oh, then he did that experiment. So after I got ill, my grandfather came and gave me the sea moss. I was I was grateful for that. That's when I fell in love with sea moss because it saved my life. Um, he did an experiment with beef and sat it out, and I watched parasites run out of this meat when he poured some alcohol on it. It was like a hundred and something percent alcohol, the highest alcohol in that you can get. And when he and I saw parasites running out of the beef, I, I never wanted it again anyway. And when you you like saw parasites that look like worms or something running just out. Just running of out of the beef. Yeah, like he sat it out like a and I'm just it was gross. It was the it was the worst thing I ever saw. And I was like, this is what we put in our body. This is what people put in. He said, Yes. So do you want to eat it? I said, No. So when I realized that that meat is the cause of all our diseases, then that's when we can change our narrative. But we've been custom to, this, yeah. to eating, you know, from a slave perspective to where we think it's fine dining. Mm -hmm. And it's not. It's destroying us. I think it's because we're, <clears throat> you know, like you said, we're conditioned to work with what we have, right? right? So when you say all these things, one of the, one of the things I instantly think of is how cost effective is it? If it convenience, it's easier to go get McDonald's or go get fast food or get you know cook something like beef or anything like that. It's easier to get that, in my opinion, versus getting the quinoa. Getting you know trying to right. what's what's your response to that? Because I'm sure a lot of people have you know you get a lot of you know back not necessarily backlash, but a lot of people go, you know, go back and forth with you like saying, This is um I can't or can't do this, right? Right. So what's your response to that when people say, Oh, it's not cost effective or man, I'm just used to eating this, you know, right. and they've seen the documentaries, right? Right. Seen the same things and they see the same thing that you saw, right? right? The worms and how it's prepared, the process. I mean, we've all seen it, but it's still something that blocks us from kind of converting full time to say, man, this is a, the, the type of lifestyle we should adopt as far as food. Yeah, because see, if your grandma cooked eggs, bacon, cheese, beef, pork, chitlins, everything, then your mom start cooking that. Mm -hmm. And it becomes Family traditional, cycle. Mm -hmm. a cycle. So now, as a cycle in the 80s and 90s, we didn't have that many preservatives and they wasn't shooting up the chickens as much. It wasn't that many people here. Mm. So the quality of food, was it better? It, it probably was. Mm. But now we in a generation where they're, they're genetically modifying everything. That's crazy. Yeah, I couldn't find I couldn't even find a watermelon with seeds. Like I looked for like days in different stores and I, I gotta go to the farmer's market to buy. You gotta go to the farmer's market or it's a man always on some corner yep. who got seed, seeded fruit. watermelon yeah. Yeah. or fruit, period. And that's sad because we have become custom to thinking that these things are, are okay. For example, when they genetically modified grapes and made them seedless, we got excited. Bro. I and just was, realized that grapes are supposed to have seeds not too long ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm not no, going to hold you. And, every and, fruit has a seed. No, I, I, hey, I didn't. When you kid, you don't like seeds. So it's like, okay. Right. See, there's, as you, as, as a kid, kid. Right, right. So you as said. you're saying, you're, you're right. Absolutely. As a kid, you don't like seeds. Mm -hmm. But that was real fruit. Yeah. Now we're comfortable with eating genetically modified foods. Yeah. It They have programmed us to make this okay. 
why is that seedless grape good for you? How? What mm-hmm. nutritional value does that put in your body? I don't, I don't have an answer for you. I just didn't no, want to. I, I didn't want to swallow a seed, my nigga. <laughs> like that's, that was you my wanna, answer. I didn't you don't want to bite the seed. seed. Right. Okay. Right. So now think about the seedless watermelon. Mm. We was excited yeah. to mm-hmm. not have seeds, but didn't think about the damage right. that it was doing to our bodies and the harm. There's no nutritional value in it. Yeah. So why are we eating anything seedless? Mm-hmm. How is that nourishing you? Understand the food is compromised. Right. Then the water is filled with fluoride, mm-hmm. chemicals. How can that help us excel to the best of our abilities if our minds are consumed with fluoride? Mm-hmm. It's fluoride in our water that we that we brush our teeth, we shower with. It's fluoride in the drinking water. How can we be greatest American people? I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna be honest, man. It from the way you explain it and the way I see it. This shit just feels like it's a wrap. It's just hopeless. Because no. like you said, like, <laughs> I'm sure the water that I'm drinking, I'm, I, I just told PB, our camera guy, off. I said, you know what? It, I probably shouldn't have an energy drink right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on the table talking to him. It might not be the best look. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Health-wise, it probably might not be the So I grab a water, but uh, and it's a good point. This probably isn't the best water for you. Bro, the water has an expiration date. So over. that's why it's like, God damn, what are we doing? Like, how can we, how right. can we be health, healthy? How can... And, and that's what the things I kind of want to speak to because it's like yeah. we think, and again, to your point, as far as this, when you were asking about how is this nutrition, I'm thinking as a kid, well, I'm eating fruit, right. not knowing that it's still poisoning our bodies. It's still not a good look, but it's right. better than a Big Mac. So it's like right. I'm just confused as to how can we get out of this condition of like, okay, how can we get on a straight and narrow at this wait, point? Wait, wait, wait. Before, before we... Because I want to get into that, and that's a whole conversation. But I want to talk about it real quick before we do that. Because my son be eating chicken nuggets all the time. And now I want to get into that. <laughs> yeah, no, I want to get I'm into sorry. that. Yeah. But I, but I want to... That's what I'm talking about. We'll get to that. But <laughs> you... What's something interesting that, that took me by surprise about you is not only do you follow in the teachings of your grandfather and stuff, you actually took it upon yourself to go get educated mm. yourself. So I want you to speak to that too. Right. So, you know, in the midst of that, like... I've done a lot in my time just because, like you said, like being Dr. Sebi's grandson, it was a, it was big shoes because everybody like, okay, well, are you going to go into the business? What are you going to do? And mm-hmm. it was like, well, he has this. Mm-hmm. Like one thing about me, I've been the curious grandchild. I asked him a lot of questions. I want to see a lot. So I remember this uh, particular birthday and he asked me, what do you want for your birthday? I'm like, I want to see someone who has HIV. That's what you said? You want to feel a birthday? Yeah. What what birthday was this? How (laughs) How old was I? I think I was about probably 16 or turning 17. Why why was that the gift that you wanted? Because, I'm I'm explaining to you, because as as being Dr. Sebi grandson, my grandfather spoiled me. Mm -hmm. When I saw so much, you know, celebrities, people that, you probably want to meet. I met him already. Got you. Or you know, it's it's been a lifestyle of of amazement because mm-hmm. who my grandfather was. So I want to see something different. You know, um, I see all these documentations, putting them up in our office. Someone's going from positive to negative of herpes, HIV. I'm like, damn, we, this is all I'm putting in the file cabinet. Mm-hmm. Like. I'm starting to want to get curious. Like, well, damn, what is grandpa? What is herpes? Mm-hmm. Grandpa's what is HIV? I want to know what it is. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm a young boy out here in LA. What is it? Can I get it? Can yeah. What's I going on? What's going on? So he said, "What?" I said, "Yeah, that's what I want to see." He said, "Okay." So we go to a particular person's house who had HIV. We get there. Um, we go inside the house, and there's an odor that someone's get who have HIV. I've been around a lot of different illnesses with my grandpa, saw a lot of different things, but I never saw what HIV looked like. So, the uh, person who has HIV emits an odor. Yes, someone Damn. who has, who's full blown HIV has it completely. Yes, they their body can get an odor. Damn, that's unbearable because the central nervous system begins to shut down and the body can create a smell. So That's I'm at crazy, the, I'm, we at the door and I'm like, like, 
Dang me, what does that smell? Yeah. Like I start smoking, looking at my shoes. I'm like, that's that mess. I'm like, I'm like, okay, this, what are they cooking in this house? Mm. I'm like, wow, why did he bring me here? Right. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, I shouldn't have came on this ride, right? So we walk in, the door open. I'm like, whoa, this. He like gain your composure. He already knew mm. what's going on, but I, this is what I asked him. So I'm like this walking in the house, like grandpa, this. This ain't Eyes it. watering, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Like some onions. I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, Grandpa, this is crazy. So we walk in the house. We walk up the stairs. There's a gentleman. The dogs is in there. He had two dogs. It blew me away that the dogs was just comfortable with this smell. I'm like, everybody's comfortable. This is, what are they cooking? So we get to the room. I'm at the door, like, like a door like that. And I'm standing at the door, but I'm, I'm like this, like. You can't handle it, yeah. I can't, Grandpa, I'm sorry. You going to whoop me. Whatever going to happen in the car, I'm going to deal with this thing. Like that, right? So I'm just sitting there like, man, this this is, I'm getting a headache. Like, I'm getting very nauseous. Like, what is going on? So the man laying in the bed, that's when I realized how serious HIV was. He's laying in the bed like this. Hmm. He tried to get up to do this. When he tried to get up to do this, he started... He was out of breath? He was out of breath and sex. I'm, I'm now I'm getting nervous. Like, whoa, what does he have, right? So we there, my grandfather like lay him back down. He's too weak. I'm like, damn, he couldn't even sit up. So now I'm really like, whoa, what is this? So we there for hours. We treat him. We didn't leave till probably about 7:30, 8 o'clock. So we get back in the car I, immediately. Grandpa, what does he have? He has HIV. I'm like, is that what HIV looked like? I never wanted. He was very skinny, weak, and that smell was the strongest stench I ever smelled in my life. And I was like, wow. So he was sick, couldn't get out the bed months later. I want to say like seven, eight months go by. He like, let's take a ride. My grandfather's random. You take a ride with him, you may be, you may end up wherever. And in, 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 I don't know. With no, you would leave with no clothes, but gonna come back with everything, <laughs> going for days. So I'm like, where are we going? I, I got school, I got basketball. Where are we going, Grandpa? I can't go nowhere far. I got a game Friday. I can't do it. <laughs> he like, no, we just taking a ride. We can't <laughs> go to we can't go to Honduras, <laughs> right? We can't, <laughs> right? We, we can't go to Honduras right now, Grandpa. <laughs> I think we take. We can't go nowhere. Yeah, but if we go, just let me know. So right. I, you know, play. Yeah. So, so I'm like, okay, all right. We driving. I'm like, oh, this look familiar. Okay. Oh, we at that gate. I'm uh, like, oh, we my here. Yeah, let me. I'm like, oh, we here at this house again. I'm like, oh, here we go. So I told him, I'm going to sit in the car this time. He like, no, you're getting out. So we get to his gate. The man is at the door. Savy. Mm. I'm cured, Savy. You did it. Oh, my God. My mouth drops like. Wow. This same man that couldn't get out the bed that was thinking is healed. Mm-hmm. I was like, Grandpa, that's when I realized, like, Grandpa, you the man. Like, you that's what I want to see. You, you the you the shit, Grandpa. Like, that's when I knew my grandfather was amazing. So you saw it firsthand. Firsthand. And then um, you know, left eyes, you know, Lisa, rest in peace to Lisa Left Eye Lopez. Yeah. Her journey was incredible. You know, that's another proud moment of being my grandfather's, you know, grandchild. Like, I remember the day Left Eye, you know, came to our office. You know, it was like random. My grandfather's a random man. He's like, who is who is this? Who is TLC? <laughs> For real? Like, what? He what didn't know who they what, were? What no. is a Left Eye? <laughs> yeah, like, literally. Wow. Like, my grandfather, my grandfather's from Honduras. You're he didn't know. a foreign man who... Who's from another country? He didn't know about you know different artists back then. He was so he would ask you know myself, my family, my cousins, my aunties and stuff like who are these people. So that particular day, he come to me like, who is TLC? I'm like, Grandpa, what you mean? Like right? Like what are you talking about? Waterfalls. Man. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like my grandpa. He probably high. He, who is TLC? I just came from school. I'm tired. <laughs> Basketball. Right? I'm like, what are you talking about? Like he like no who's to, who is TLC? I'm like. TLC is the hottest group out. What Biggest. about him? Like, what about him? He like, who's left eye? I'm like, oh, she the rapper of the group. She got 
she went. She She's left. Yeah, she left. Dope. She what? What? what a, so now I'm getting like, Grandpa, what's up? Like, because you kind of know in the back of your mind, like, like what's something going yeah, on? Yeah. Like, Grandpa, you ain't just asking for nothing. What's going on? He's like, okay, who's Andre Rising? I'm like, shit, he the hottest. See, you're in Oakland right now. They on their way here now. I'm like, what? Who? He like, left eyes on their way here. I'm like, here where? Here? Yeah, they be here in 30 minutes. I'm like, what? I'm dirty. <laughs> I just came from practice. I'm like, oh, they on their way here now? He like, now. So, yeah. They end up coming and, you know, her and Andre got on the product and it's out with Andre and. I'm like, damn, my grandpa is the truth. They like, just wanted to be healthy or? Wanted to be healthy, yeah. Like, Andre came and got on the sea moss and left eye wanted to do a spiritual cleansing. Mm -hmm. Did so that did, cleansing. So did, did, so when they, when they, um, so she was, I remember, because I remember the whole thing when, when she passed, she was in Honduras mm -hmm. or she was going to Honduras. She no, so, Honduras. so left eye, okay. Um, she came to my grandpa, boom, she got on a product and amidst her being on a product, she gets a call on who wants to be a millionaire. So Regis was hosting that back then. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, my grandpa like, yeah, left eye's going on Regis. And she said she's going to talk about the Seamoss. I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. What do you mean? Like, okay, that's another problem with left eye going to talk about Seamoss. Because once she started taking the product, she wanted all the hip hop to get on the product. Mm. That was her mission. Like she wanted to help everybody, the culture, everybody, you know. Um, so when she got on the product, her transformation. Because when she first came in, I was like, I don't look like Left Eye. I ain't the person on TV, right? So I'm like, what? Well, what about her at that point? What did it was unrecognizable? It was the fact that you know when you see her on, on as a youngster, you seeing her on TV and how she was. It was like. You sure you left eye? Right, yeah, right. I don't see the 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 circle, right, right, the, you glam, know? the glam, yeah, yeah, the glam. You know, it's like that left eye was bad. Yeah, she was bad. You know what I'm saying? So it was like you left eye. And then, then as she started talking and her you personality, it was like, oh yeah, this is her. You heard the voice. Yeah, the voice, and it was like, oh yeah, this is her. And her personality was just amazing. But her journey, like, she fasted for forty days, for real. Fruit salad, water, and sea moss. Like, I remember after she did the Regis and she talked about the sea moss and how everybody need to get on it and Tyrese cracking jokes. Yeah, I no, thought I that was, like, the most phenomenal thing in the world. Like, you talking about something that my grandfather gave you. Yeah. I'm like, damn, okay. Yeah. That's a proud moment. Yeah. So it was like, um, now Regis like, well, I think I need sea moss. But they're joking, not right. understanding the full value and the concept of what sea moss really does for the body right. mm -hmm. and how it helps. But the fact that you put us on the map. That was a hell of a shout out. That too. was a hell of because a shout Because if people don't remember that, how to be a millionaire at that time was like. Who wants the, to be a man? Who, yeah, who wants to be a man? That was the, one of the that biggest was, shows. That was like, the biggest show on TV. Yeah. That was the biggest show on TV. Yeah. Yeah. So people across the world saw that, but didn't really know what they what it was. Yeah. But for us, it was big. So then she won that money. And then she disappeared, and they were like, oh, where the left eye go? Remember yeah. MTV? Oh, she's missing and all that? No, she was in Honduras mm -hmm. getting her mind, body, and soul back in line because of what hip-hop, you know, the culture, all that traveling, that's a lot of energy, yeah. you know? So, yeah, she went to Honduras, and when she came back, her aura was amazing. I was like, I'll never forget, it was a Saturday morning, and she was in our office. She had those, uh, she had a rag on, you know, the... When those rags was popular and they had the like the bling bling yeah, on it. Uh, yeah. yeah. She had the rag on. She had on like a little cutoff shirt. And I was like, wow, Lisa, your glow. She was like, that's that Seamoss glow. Huh? I was like, yeah, you got Damn. that Seamoss glow. And she was just so at peace. Yeah. After coming back from Honduras, it was incredible. Like it showed how you could go from a state of negative auras. Uh, you want a negative energy, um, you know, all type of toxic mm. things that's weighing you down. And she showed the bravery. She showed the willpower and the discipline and the faith to want to be better. Yeah. You know, and it was an amazing transformation for me. 
And that's what really, like, her journey inspired me to really take on, you know, the mantle of changing our culture and, you know, getting hip hop healthy. Yeah. Yeah. The the, and own. then also, um, I want you to speak on your education too, real quick. Like you went and got educated on your own. Oh yeah. I went and got educated on my own because, you know, being Dr. Savi's grandson, it was like, okay, what am I gonna be able to contribute to this to this legacy? Yeah. You know, he has the formulas, but then I went and furthered my knowledge. He gave me, you know, books and things to really get to where we are today. And I really, I'm really grateful for it because back then I didn't really understand because I was hooping, I was teaching kindergarten through fifth grade for one point mm -hmm. at Crescendo Charter Conservatory, um, commercials, basketball, winning a, a, one of the biggest tournaments, one on one. Red Bull King of the Rock tournament, wow. you know, I played 64 people one-on-one -on -one in basketball. I won that tournament for Red Bull, you know, and um, so basketball was, I thought it was going to be Your a vehicle. career. Yeah. yeah, like played overseas, did did my thing and played in the Drew, the VBL, the top leagues of L.A., you know, so I thought it was NBA, but you have a higher calling sometime. It really showed me that, that where you think your life going up, it may not be that calling yeah. but healing was always there for me because at a young age right after high school i went and worked for my grandpa mm -hmm. you know he was like okay you we need help i went straight to the business so being in a business of healing at a young age it was draining because of the fact that while you was outside with your friends playing <laughs> freeze tag and right. riding your bike mm -hmm. willing and whatever you was doing mm -hmm. i was Playing what you consider some dirt, yeah. and these is, <laughs> these is herbs that's gonna heal the nation. Right. Your mom have high blood pressure. We have it. Diabetes. We have it. Cancers. We have it. You know what I'm saying? So did you was, learn? My bad. Did you learn? Uh, so did you go to school or? Yeah, I have a degree in nutrition. So you know, I I wanted to learn that background because there's not that many nutritionists that can give you the real tools of how to stay healthy. They give you this chart of pyramid food chart. And then yeah, it's like, well, what, what else can, are you providing me? So for me, it was grandpa helping me with the herbal aspect. Okay. Yeah. I know what alkaline herbs we have to use, what hybrid herbs, what's not good for us, what's not, you know, he gave me that, but the food aspect, I want to learn what's the proper food for our biological makeup. Mm. You know, yeah, go ahead. No, I was I'm was gonna ask you, so when you when you're going to school for this, was there ever a conflict of like the knowledge that you're receiving in school versus the knowledge you received from your grandpa's? It's like the white man's knowledge. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> no, because see, as me being his grandchild, it's like, okay, I have to go learn. The westernized side. Their way. Got you. This. Got you. Okay. I'm going to start yeah. using that westernized. Because mm -hmm. people say I say white people too much. You do. <laughs> I'm going to say westernized. <laughs> yeah, because see, <laughs> it's, 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 it's actually what it is. It, We've been exactly programmed is, for sure. to eat on a westernized level. We, we're considered, we, we're okay with eating white rice. Facts. We're okay with using white garlic. You okay with using, you know, white cauliflower as a substance of nutrition. Wait, so cauliflower not really white? Cauliflower is not good for us. Anything white that has some form of bleach on it, right? Message. So what co what color is cauliflower naturally? I mean, if it comes we, from brown, we're not supposed to eat cauliflower. We're not supposed to eat cauliflower. No, number that's one. Gen <laughs> that's genetically modified in the laboratory. Why are we eating cauliflower? Why are we eating so, corn? So broccoli is not real either. Broccoli is what? What's, what nutritional value do we get from broccoli? Damn, man. Okay, all right. So fuck. now let's get to it. Okay. Man. He said, let's get to let's it. Because <laughs> I love broccoli. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you okay. Know, but you only love broccoli because you put butter and cheese on it. Facts. Mm. So what is that? What is I don't that? put cheese. But okay, I but sure you put, put butter, butter on it. For right. sure. So, so, butter. So, so you're not going <laughs> to naturally just boil some broccoli and eat it, are you? No. All right. Uh, so it's... So I like butter and, and cheese. I don't like broccoli. Yeah, you, but wait. So like. even if you boil the broccoli, it's still not good for you, right? Because it's 
genetically modified. It's not right? real. It's not real. Just like corn, right? You, Corn's you, not real. Uh, I mean, you know, corn but, is genetically modified in the laboratory. And then now the way this corn is nowadays, they put more pesticides on it than anything. So okay, what, so what, what's the point of eating it? So what's not real? Cauliflower, corn, 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 broccoli. 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 Man, don't okay. Keep going, you know, please. Let, let me know. Carrots is carrots, not real. Carrots is hybrid. That's a hybrid. I'm gonna vegetable. tell you I'm what is say, what is a hybrid between what? It's genetically modified in the laboratory and it's crossbred. Between what and what? Uh, it's between. I I thought it was a carrot was crossbred between either. I want to say a radish and something else, but they but they crossbred it. You can look it up. Come on, man. So Thanks. what else? Um. What else not good for us? Yeah. Rice. White rice. Why? The starch. Yeah. It creates yeah. mucus. Clogs up the arteries. Okay. So white rice. So we should eat brown rice or quinoa? No, you should. You, you don't want brown rice. You want black rice. You want wild rice. I didn't even know. Oh, I guess. Wild in rice. In the wild rice. You got to think. Yeah. You, you could, they, your, your grandparents were cooking wild rice. They wasn't right. cooking white rice. You're right. They wasn't cooking that. So we want wild rice. Wild rice. Black yeah, my rice. mom, she's from Louisiana. She would always cook with, with wild rice. Wild rice, yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm, Black I'm gonna rice. Say, I'm going to tell you like this. I'm, I'm overwhelmed because I feel like the more information we get, it just feels like the task is farther for us. It's like. No, no, because. So, see, so, so break that down. about for, How do we get right on track? How do we get on track, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's put down the white rice. Let's okay. put down the brown rice. Okay. Let's pick up the wild rice. Okay. Let's pick up the black rice. Let's pick up the quinoa. There's so many. It, that's that's gonna put the proper nutritional value. And just find okay. a way to let's to replace. Cook that. Let's replace the carrots. Let's put kale there. Okay. Let's replace the the carrot. Put the zucchini there. Okay. Do that. You okay. can replace the carrot. You could put some dandelion greens there. You know, our, our traditional greens is some collards, yeah, some mustard, yeah. but the dandelion greens is going to put the proper nutritional value into the body. You know, let's put, what else we could put down? Put the corn down. No more corn at all. Damn. You don't want corn. It's not good for the digestive system. That's why I don't digest. And it exactly. come out in our, it's coming out of your stool. How, what, 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 what proper nutritional value is doing to you? Okay. Now, all right, this is now the chicken nuggets for his Oh, son. the chicken nuggets. I nugget. stopped. You know what? I'm glad you stopped. Look. No, I didn't stop him. He had some the other day. So I got to stop. Where, 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 where are you getting chicken nuggets from? <laughs> well, McDonald's? Well, yeah. Okay, see, look. It's the Happy Meal, bro. Okay, so look. Now, now I understand. You it's, you you heard the key word? Now, there's um there's millions of families who's going to listen to this okay. and going and gonna be in your same Space because just give me a chicken nugget you, you, replaceable you, right you, now. You, well, no, I want to know what's in it. Yeah. No, I, I know what's in it. What's I know some it? bullshit. Yeah. So, okay, you love your son, right? I do. I do. Right. So, I do. so we have to step up as parents, You're right? And and guide them in a better way that we didn't get because see, it was it was generational McDonald's. Yeah. It don't have to be generational now. Right. So that chicken nugget. You have a young king. Yeah. I have a young king. So mm-hmm. I'm not giving my son, he gonna tell you he's eleven years old. He's not gonna eat no chicken nugget. Has he ever? Never. Now, see, that's the thing. You've you've programmed him to not want it. I done fucked up by giving him some nuggets. But see now, <laughs> but see, this is how you correct it. How old is your son? He's five. He's gonna be yeah, he's five. Okay. He only been in the world five years, so yeah. why we can't correct it? Who's this the man. who who who's the parent? I know this this exactly. next year is just gonna be a bitch. I'm just gonna yeah, tell you so, right now. But, yeah. but see, this is how we get out of those bad habits. I got you. I got you. You know, the chicken nuggets is harmful and detrimental coming from McDonald's. Yeah, bro. You get what I'm saying? And then chicken in itself, mm. hormones, preservatives, processed. That's a bacteria of the earth. So, what nutritional value is that chicken giving you, us? You, you, you're absolutely right. I hear you. I I I'm with you Mucus. because I've been able to to put it down. It's hard. How do I what 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 replacement can I just I just need something to wean them off right now. So what can I do right replacement now? Replacement right now? Yeah. Okay. For that chicken nugget, get get him the you could do the oyster mushrooms, saute them in a uh get the oh, spelt flower. You gotta you gotta do it yourself. Oh 
man. Well, we, we gotta thankfully, I got a wife and a it. chef. I, I got to oh, figure you this gotta, out. Okay, so you got a chef at home. Yeah. So why is he eating McDonald's chicken nuggets? Because she be on that bullshit, too. Okay, so look, yeah. Look, <laughs> tell wifey, no more chicken nuggets. Oh, that's not going to go good. We, we, we go. can do it. We can do it, though. He he only five. Yeah. See that? I know. See, it, it, I'm going to tell you, it, it boils, it boils you know down to discipline. It really does. It, and I, I, I I'm aware just about of it. To go there. I'm aware of it. I know that. And, but see, this is the conditions of our American people. Mm -hmm. We want to, please, 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 say we love our child. Talking to Mike. We want to poison them. Yeah. We want to poison our kids. We can't, we got to get out of that. That's the westernized way of thinking. Yeah, I love my child, but I want to give them nuggets. No. Yeah. Hear, hear me out. Not hear just nuggets. Out. Not, Not just, just nuggets. nuggets and okay. Barbecue sauce. Hear me it, out. It's though. the nuggets. Yeah. <laughs> hot chips. Tackies. Don't, do don't do that. Thank you know, uh, you do Kellogg's products. I do. What? No, we we. He doesn't really. He's not really on. He gets in. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's on the. He's Fruit on the. Uh, the Lucky Charms. Lucky, you got to get. I know. That and he and he only eat the uh, the marshmallow ones too. See so I know that's bad. It's like. I I get it. A lot of food coloring. A lot of dyes. This is how we start creating a downfall for our kids' health yeah. from stomach issues, at possibly asthmatic because yeah. of all the genetically modified chemicals in there. It also causes hyperdeficiency disorders. Mm -hmm. No good. Yeah. Chemical. Look. Look at the. When you go home today, go look at that box at home Bro, and look I at all those ingredients. Those all chemicals going into your young king. The sad part about it, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm fully aware, and that's I think that's the fucked up part about it because, and me and my wife were talking about this the other day. <clears throat> we we choose convenience yes, as see. of right now. The so average yeah. person's always gonna choose convenience. You're choose gonna choose convenience. convenience, but see, that's what's in the long run. It's not good for you. It's, it right now. Convenience is what's killing our american people yeah convenience Con your, your mama was your when you was a kid we couldn't get no meal in in three minutes yeah there's no way right it, it takes 30 minutes or 40 minutes yeah, for your mom to cook that yeah. dinner bro the oats he got me eating take 30 minutes oatmeal so okay. oh yeah, so, oh, wait, wait, raw, wait, 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 the wait, raw wait, wait, oats wait. is different than the, than so the how, steel cut the, okay. oats. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's get into that. How do you in in this in this world that we're in? How do you combat that? Okay, so look. Instead of you buying Quaker oats that have all those chemicals, you know, as a kid, you got to think these companies was using real products. Now they're using byproducts. You don't know what 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 those oats are. So it started off okay, or probably decent. was okay, but now those oats you 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 use that oats. Quaker. Yeah, I've never seen. I bought it just to just to see this substance on top of oatmeal. That's what you considered supposed to eat, correct? Yeah. So why when you boil these oats, you put some water in there, boil it, and all of a sudden this gray substance is boiling up over some oatmeal? That's not – okay. why is that healthy for us? Check, okay, let, let's just do this real quick. Uh, let's do a, a meal prep. What should I eat for breakfast? Breakfast, going into the summer, or just – it just. Yeah, you see, you're the nutritionist. You tell okay, me. So breakfast for you? Uh-huh. I mean, you move around a lot. You yeah. got a kid. You have a family. Mm -hmm. You should be having at least a smoothie instead okay. of coffee. I can breakfast. do that. I can do that. And what your My smoothie son. should consist of is kale, mm -hmm. blueberries, okay. raspberries, blackberries, cilantro, some hemp milk for protein, and or you could use strictly water. Okay. So Blend no, no oat milk. Um, no. You oh, could yes. do coconut oh. milk. Okay. Coconut milk and hemp milk is be the best thing. What about I like for, hemp better? What about for my son? He doesn't like smoothies. He don't like smoothies. Nah, I tried to get him. How he don't like? Smoothies I don't know. Part. Okay, he he do he like he like juice, right? Yes, he does. Okay, so juice it. Okay, juice it for him, especially like for for kids. Mm -hmm. Antioxidants is very important They're in a classroom with thirty other or twenty five kids. Yeah, 
their immune system probably not as strong as his. Shot. So it's like every you know, two weeks is something. Yeah. So that means if it's every two weeks is something, mm-hmm. that means the food he's consuming and the classroom, everyone's immune system is like this. So what are we doing? We passing germs. Mm-hmm. So how we built the alkalinity in your son is by giving him juices. Water, mm. something that we parents now, do not like giving kids water. My, now my son, he he likes water. That's good. Now, but it goes back to my original point. We can keep going down the rabbit hole, yeah. but is this not good water? Like the, I don't want you to buy now for your yeah. household. It should be spring water, spring because water. see that water right there has an expiration date and it's filled with fluoride, and it's reverse osmosis. So they just recycling tap water and putting. Chemicals so we need to be it. looking for spring water. Spring water is the best. And water. That's, all I, that's all I get now. Like kids, well, is there an age limit or age requirement for alkaline water, or do you, no, 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 no alkaline water, no alkaline water. See, you just want spring water. This is some see that, and that's what frustrates me because yeah. I we he got me off alkaline water. I've heard that alkaline water was the thing to do. Yeah, but see, you heard. Are you right? I didn't do my own research. <laughs> you heard. Like we always hear a lot of things. How do we decipher what's what's, what's, what's the what's right factual? information? You get what I'm saying? So the only time we ever give people alkaline water, if you're going through stage four radiation treatment. God. Because why? You need the electrolytes. Okay. They they need it because they just stripped all the minerals from their body because gotcha. you're doing radiation. But outside of that, why are you drinking alkaline water? If the body naturally balances pH every day okay. with proper fruits and vegetables, why are we drinking Alkaline water that's still coming from a man-made machine. Mm-hmm. It's going to be side effects to that machine. Okay. Lunch. Lunch. Um, you can have, like, some avocado toast, spelt bread, you know, uh, what we what considered. We have different What if I don't like meals. avocados? You don't like avocados? I don't, I don't like avocados. Okay. What about, uh, you don't like avocado? Okay. You could snack on fruit. I can do that. Berries, walnuts. You like walnuts? I can get into them. Yeah. Don't necessarily care Brazil for nuts, huh? But you could get uh, try Brazil nuts. That's that's filled with protein. Okay, I've never even heard of no, Brazil, no, Brazil, Brazil nuts. Yeah. Walnuts, Brazil nuts. Mm-hmm. They they really good. High in high in fiber, high in protein. What about dinner? Dinner, um, you could have like some black rice, uh, portobello mushrooms, sauteed. So we're not doing meat at all. No meat at all. What what what, what do you need some meat for? <laughs> uh, eggs. Is, is it true that eggs is a level two carcinogen or, or something like that? That that egg is gonna cause a lot of inflammation for one. That egg is why 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 do we feel we get protein from an unborn chicken? I never understood the mm. the the concept of it. But we as American people, we have watched TV. We saw Rocky, dun dun dun, right, he right, cracking eggs, eggs like and it's milkshakes, like it's, <laughs> and he's doing this for a movie role, and we thinking we're getting protein, but working out, consuming an egg like that, you're gonna put a lot of inflammation around your bronchial tube, and now you have a lot of mucus in your lungs and high cholesterol, and it's downhill from there. So why is this okay? Now the best source of protein we should be consuming before a workout is avocado. Because Damn. that's going to give you the energy. That's going to give you the vitamin C, the vitamin K, build so muscle. For me specifically, when I this is just me. When I eat avocados or when I've consumed them, I feel like they're, it's not a bad alert. It's some kind of allergic reaction where my throat kind of like starts itching. So well, I don't, I, and that's well, like even from a young age, I, I just well, did, don't, you, don't you, like you, it. You probably, you probably can't eat avocado. Gotcha. Now, what, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was gonna ask you. I was gonna ask something else, but go ahead. Um, for you, replace the avocado with the kale, the dandelion, the dandelion greens. You'll be fine. Okay. Now, specifically with like detoxing, right? So we talk about all these things. Like I'm, I'm not gonna. Lie. I'm, I'm easier as far as the discipline. I can probably do it, right? I'm not gonna say probably. I will do it. I'm gonna implement it. What's the best practices for detoxing? Um, for a family, that's 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 very interesting because we do that a lot. Um, and, and please let us know about the products too, man. Yeah. That, that, so we can talk about those. For but, sure, um, detoxing is excellent for every household. Mm-hmm. But in every household, who's detoxing? Ever, right? You go three hundred sixty-five days a year, and you just eating, consuming. Yeah. With most households, not eating 
fruits every day. Right. Not having a salad for dinner every day. That's for sure. Every meal, you're supposed to have a salad with your meal. Yeah. We're not doing that. Some households don't eat a salad one, uh, if they eat a salad. And then we just go buy iceberg lettuce and some tomatoes and say, hey, here's my salad. And somebody's watching this right now like, that ain't a salad? That's not. That, that iceberg lettuce retains a lot of water. A lot of, it's, it's, it's come, it come with a lot of bacteria. Bro. What's the best lettuce for the salads? The 50-50 blend. And that's a spring mix salad. If you're spring buying mix. that, then you're doing great. Okay. Because it's a blend of mi- mixed greens that we need for our body. And then add the kale. See, most households don't eat kale. They be like, I don't eat kale. But kale is high in antioxidants, burns belly fat, high in fiber, great for the blood. Kale is very important. I can rock with kale. I can do that. What? So, uh, cilantro as well. Our household, we don't... We, we think cilantro and just in some salsa or something right, or right. some tacos. For, no, I just for sure had a little. <laughs> so, no, I mean, people take the cilantro and move it, it, move the it to the side. <laughs> right, you gonna move it to the side, but that has a lot of great <laughs> nutritional value. What what so with the program and the products and stuff that you that you do now, the work that you do now, what all do you treat? <sighs> the question is, what don't we treat? Mm-hmm. Um, we deal with I deal with diabetes, cancer, COVID. Lupus, asthma, ADHD, uh, skin issues, um, obesity, thyroid issues. And you got thyroid. documented of all success stories for all of this stuff. Success stories. Brain tumors, herpes. We have the documentation. Still. Now, I got a question on that, yes. right? So with with situations like herpes or HIV, when you're healing these things, are you specifically with like celebrities? I'm sure you get celebrities that reach out to you for yeah. for for the product. Is there like a NDA that needs to be signed at that point that they, they don't want their information to be out there in terms of like ordering these products or getting sent to their house or coming to pick uh, them up? Um, one thing about our family, everything's always been confidential because we've dealt with so many celebrities for so many years. Mm-hmm. So. You know, my grandfather had dignity and morals, and, you know, we just can't go out here and just want to tell your business. That's not how the Bowmans operate. So anything that, you know, we deal with is private. Got it. We're not here to air anyone's information or no. That's Um, not how we operate at all. But so go ahead. Oh, here we go. Let's What's go ahead. On? Let's go. Up right here, man. What's all right. Name? So I want to get to some of these products. But I want to talk about them individually, real quick. I want so how, to... how long have you been on? And what do you have? Like, that's what I want to know. What <laughs> all do you, right, all you, right, he be in a group chat talking about his herbs. And, <laughs> hey, man, man, I'm feeling good. All right. know, my sleep apnea is gone, and all this other. All right, so look. <laughs> so when I first went to, when me, me, and, me and Isaiah first had a conversation, I told him I was having problems sleeping, and I was also having anxiety, like panic attacks. Okay. Right. So as I'm having these things, I'm I'm gonna do it. But as I'm having these things, uh, he was like, "Oh yeah, I already know what that is. I already know, <laughs> yeah, I already know what we gonna do. We gonna put you on the products, this and that. And then the number, the the first, the other thing before I get to this is the vaccine. And okay. it's a very controversial yeah, issue. It is. Yes. Um, but we gonna <laughs> here we go. Very controversial issue. Yeah. Um, I got the COVID vaccine. Uh, then you get it. I did, uh, you got it too. Mm-hmm. He's like, first thing we need to do is get that out of your system. How do you get it out of your system? Well, well it's a detox, right? We ha- you, you, you answered it. Okay. Um, we have to detox because the vaccine one, it it, it still compromised the body. Mm. Now people getting more side effects from the vaccine than COVID is over. It's like COVID is where? It's like it never existed now. Right. It's like the agenda was what to push the vaccine mm. on the American people, something that failed. But then it's like we don't hold our government accountable for failing us. Mm. We it's just like, uh, well, I went and got this vaccine. Hey, well, I still got COVID, but I took the vaccine for work. But now I got headaches, all these side effects. All I'm these sweating, things, yeah. heart palpitations, uh, problems breathing. Lack of sleep, all, all kind of things is occurring from 
the vaccine. And it's like, well, what was the point of getting a vaccine? So how long does it stay in your body? For a long time. That's a foreign object, mm -hmm. for one. What's in a vaccine? Do any of us know? Right. So that's foreign. Okay. So we have to detoxify all the bad bacteria, all the mucus, so we can revitalize those cells. How long does the vaccine stay in your system? You say you don't know. For, for as long as it can. It, on, on the herbs and doing the regimen? Well, 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 if you're taking the minerals, if you're taking all the herbs that we provide for you, then eventually that will detoxify itself out of your system. It could take a month. It could take three months. It could take six months. It depends on the body. Okay. So he put me on. I, I got everything. I got every herb and everything. Mm -hmm. So just because I just wanted to try and do everything. Dr. Sebi Seamoss, right? Mm -hmm. This is this is like the main, this is what everybody talks about. This is the thing. What's in Seamoss? Like, what does it do? What's in it? Seamoss is 92 of 102 minerals that my grandfather went to the Supreme Court justice for mm -hmm. and composed. So those ingredients, those two. It says moose, moose go. I don't know how to say this shit. I ain't, um, gonna, no, he, no, he ain't try. Let him say said, it. No. <laughs> you gonna have people researching, doing some other shit, trying to come up with their own seat. Nah, you 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 didn't go to school so, for this. Put right. that down. So, sea so moss is kelps within the ocean of the Caribbean Sea, which is in Honduras. So, those kelps that my grandfather discovered is so enriched with minerals that that silly protein powder everybody brags about. That's supposed to do something. You can buy every product in GMC, every product in CVS, everywhere, but you won't get 92 of 102 minerals that's in that product. So what CMOS does for someone who asthmatic, it will help asthma. cleanse the lungs, get rid of the mucus off the lungs, help the bronchial tube, put the A complex, the B complex back into the body, the zinc, the calcium, and bring your body back to its natural essence. So someone who's at mathlete, say they sprained their ankle or broke a bone, that's gonna help put the A complex and the zinc back into the, back into the bones mm -hmm. to help enrich the body. So someone who has digestive issues, that's CMOS, they had example, say you had constipation, you have a you you use the restroom daily, mm -hmm. frequently, and it's you still have some strain in it. You feel like oh, it's something there. in there, right? So now that helps relax the digestive system, help the central nervous system. Now you're eliminating frequently. Go ahead, head. CMOS Plus. Now plus that's that's one of our new products that I, I say I ain't never heard of no CMOS Plus. CMOS yeah. Plus. Yeah, the Plus was created. Um, during the pandemic, you know, when everybody was running to the store getting it's, tissue paper, I I went into the lab and it was like my grandfather came to me and was like, "Look, that vaccine, <laughs> that 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 COVID is killing people in a rapid number because, okay, I, my grandfather been healing for decades. I've never seen people die the way COVID did, but right. it's what they made COVID with. They if you can put HIV and all these different bacteria together that's man-made, there's COVID. So now the respiratory system shuts down instantly. You're you're gone. So we needed something that's going to keep our immune system up. We needed more minerals. 92 was good, but CMOS Plus is great because it has 150 minerals. Now, me being curious, Dr. Sebi's grandson, I knew what formulas, what, what herbs – it's going to enrich our blood and make it that much stronger to fight off a virus and mucus and bacteria. Because at the end of the day, COVID was what? Man-made, right? Mm -hmm. So nature going to always Handle overrule that. something that man created. Mm -hmm. So that's when I went in the lab and created CMOS Plus, and that successfully helped millions of Americans during COVID. We treated it in three months, a week, seven days, five days. My goddaughter caught COVID and was they were trying to keep her out of school. I said, you're going to take this CMOS Plus. Her and her mom was off, off work in school. Gave them that. It was going to seven days. They went and got the test results. They asked them what they was taking. 
They wasn't supposed to go back to the, you know, when, when you first caught COVID. <laughs> they asked they them what they take. Yeah, was, they, you know, you had a deadline. Like, mm-hmm. you had to quarantine for 13 days. They didn't quarantine for 13 days. They went back in 10 and got tested. Blood Purifier Plus. Blood Purifier Plus is amazing. Blood Purifier, because that has 14 different plants. That's from Honduras. That has a lot of iron fluorine to enrich the blood. It has a lot of... Uh, iron enriched herbs like the burdock. We we used uh, a lot of different herbs that's going to alkaline, oxygenize, ox, excuse me, it's going to put the proper oxygen into the body to help rejuvenate your cells. So if you had the flu, for, exa- for example, mm-hmm. CMOS Plus and Blood Purifier Plus and Detox Cleanser, go get rid of your flu. And probably about a week's time. Mm. Because, see, these viruses understand something. Like my grandfather would always say, it's only one disease. See, in the westernized way of America, they compromise us to think that diabetes is different from herpes. Mm. Herpes is different from diabetes. HIV is different from this. No. It's one. It's one disease, and that's mucus. Mm. So if... Diabetes is mucus. There's a cure for that. If herpes is mucus, there's a cure for that. If, if HIV is mucus, there's a cure for that. But these doctors, they get paid millions of dollars, billions of dollars to do what? To kill. The pharmaceutical industry is a trillion dollar industry. What causes mucus? Chicken. Damn. Beef. Damn. Rice. Say eggs. Eggs. Cheese, you had all that shit this week. What? <laughs> so <laughs> I already noticed. All right. so he ain't he ain't completely saved. I already I'm not saved. completely. I, I pray for me. <laughs> all right, uh, electric green food and brain food. Now that electric green food is one of the most underrated products that we have because in every household we're not consuming the proper fruits and the pro- proper vegetables daily. So you will go you go to the grocery store, for example. You go to the grocery store. You're going to pick up some oranges. You're going to pick up some apples. You're going to pick up some bananas. And you have some grapes. And you think you did a good job. Then you're going to go to the frozen section. You open the freezer. You're going to get your frozen vegetables, two bags, of the mixed vegetables, they got corn, mm-hmm. carrot. You're gonna go get, and you think you're doing a good deed, then you're gonna go get what? Your meat, <laughs> which is gonna be either some steak or some chicken. You know it's gonna be some chicken. You, know you can't stand away from the bird. And then you're gonna go get what? You gotta go to the island and get the what? The starch. You're mm-hmm. gonna get that rice. Right. Pasta. Some pasta. Or you're gonna go get what? The potato. Yeah, you don't yeah. go get the red potato, you go get the big rusted potato, right? Right. So now everything's on that plate is what? And that basket is what? What nutritional value did? Right. Nothing. Nothing. There's no nutritional I'm value. Like, you might get like one green bean. PB and- just texted me. He said he just ordered an asada burrito. <laughs> oh, yeah. You <laughs> you being disrespectful right so, now. <laughs> you being disrespectful you're right. to our guests. So the household, we have to change. So that green food yeah. is the vegetable for the body. So that helps the central nervous system. That's going to put vitamin A back into the body, vitamin E, vitamin K. It helps the digestive system. Read it's this a great word right here. diuretic. You trying to get me caught up? Uh, Medicago? <laughs> now that that's that's a plant. Did I say it right? <laughs> yeah. See, there we go. <laughs> that, that's a that's a herb that we use. That, that's the that's the ingredient that's inside the electric green food. Okay. I'm I'm just curious on one thing. I'll, I'll let you continue to, to to run off the list of what you got. How do you know what's good and what's bad? Because I mean, if for instance, I've seen people take sea moss, and then there was something that said, "Oh, you're not taking the right sea moss. You got to get your sea moss from the right spot." Like, <laughs> right? I, I think that's the frustrating is people eating part. The jelly, yeah, off, right. off the, off the yeah. internet. So is yeah. it is it best to do that? I seen see, Wallow Wallow been eating the the the, the sea moss with the jelly. See, I look. I'm gonna tell you like this. <laughs> My grandfather, we ain't never ate no sea moss or no spoon or no jelly. For real? 
No, we. I don't. That what that stringy stuff that you see on the internet where they soaking it in lemon and all that stuff. That ain't it. That's not it. Because, for real? So for real? So hear me out. That's <laughs> look, look at me. Look, that, his face that's what he said. That's my gra- wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Go ahead. I want to know. Like, how do we decipher what are the scams and what's for real? Because, yeah, because see, there's there's a lot of people like you gotta understand something. During the pandemic, it's like it's like this. The pandemic came. I went on a breakfast club and then talked about CMOS. Then after that, oh, yes. everybody named Mama CMOS Gang. CMOS Gang, <laughs> right. So so now you have people, well, I get mine from St. Lucia, I get it from Jamaica, and y'all all getting it off Amazon. Well, where's Amazon getting it from? Oh. You know, and then it's like CMOS is a formula. It's not just. It's not just CMOS. It's not just. You can't. Irish moss is not going to give you 92 minerals. Um, that's not going to happen. Especially not the CMOS, not the Irish moss that's out here today. Mm. They compromising it. They putting salt on it. They drying it out. It, it's some of nine times out of ten is going to have mold on it because it's been sitting a long time. Uh, who, Where are they getting it from? So you you saying. So you've never seen your grandfather eat the jelly. My grandfather ain't never dry, put no lemon in no bucket, put no Irish moss in no bucket, and we eating it like some jelly. No. That ain't My it. grandfather made That's teas out of it before, <laughs> but <laughs> made smoothies out of it, but never have I seen him do that. No. Hair, skin, and nails. Hair, skin, and nails is... Okay. So. That's self-explanatory, but... Yeah, but no, it's... It, the hair, skin, and nails to me is one of the most underrated products as well because, okay, for our society, hair is very important. True. So especially my, for Chuck, he started growing his hair out because he got scared he was gonna go bald like me. Lose it. Right. Yeah. See, okay. So my whole life I had waves. Mm. Then thirty, I said, I want to see how my hair can grow. You know, I never had long hair. I'm gonna just do this experiment. I did a hair experiment. So then I was like, okay, if I'm going to do a hair experiment, then now I have to go do all my research it's gotta be some on why us, yeah. our queen's hair is not growing mm. like when we was kids. Is it because of this one. the hair products that they're using? Uh-oh. Is it because of the chemicals that they're washing their hair with? You let them know it's for the edges, it, bro. It, oh, is it, edge. oh, yeah. No, no, no. The hair, skin, and nails, I'm going to explain that. But- it made me go in depth on why our queens are going bald or they're bra- they they combing their hair and all of it is on a comb mm-hmm. or edges like you just said. The growth is not meeting their standards. Mm-hmm. So now, boom, um, 2017. That's when the hair, skin, and nails was created, 2017. And um, it's herb. Strictly herbs. So I had to go do research on what herbs is strictly for the hair. How can we help the hair follicles? You know, because it becomes damaged. So much heat, so much de- uh, uh, chemical-based products. You know, a lot of products that we use in America is biotin. Mm-hmm. Biotin is all in shampoo. Biotin is in everything that women mostly use, and that's a poor product for hair. That's not good? Biotin is not good at all. Because see, see this is, this understand is... why the length and the growth is not meeting your expectations. Where with that hair, skin, and nails, we'll give that to someone who go through stage four radiation treatment, lose, go bald, eyelashes, everything, and the hair, skin, and nails is gonna help their hair grow. So, DJ Envy could have used this instead of getting, used to. I'm fucking with DJ it. Head. He, he didn't get. Yeah, no. Can, Okay, that that's a good question. I don't want no hair. No, no, I want I, no. No, look, no, look. no. Hold up, hold up. So, <laughs> for my man right here, who's you know, twenty. I, I went bald at twenty two because I didn't want to have to comb and brush. Is there a I'm world? Lazy. Is there a okay. world where he can actually get his hairline back using the products, or is it just I a mean, rap? Well, he is. Yeah, because regardless. Nigga, you he, take it. He, he can. He can. You you. <laughs> you need your edge. Shaving. Yeah. I mean. Every, your hair follicle is going to grow mm-hmm. because of the fact that your cells have to reproduce. So the fact that he's taking minerals, if he stops shaving his head, it's going to grow. Get, yeah. So look, grow. show no, me no, your no, hairline. No, show me your hairline. I don't have a hairline. I don't have, look, so can he get hair 
back, like, would, can his hairline grow back? Yeah, because it, there's hair follicles up there. So, yes, his hair can grow back. If he was to start growing his hair, he could have. So, hair. Hear, hear what I'm saying. In two weeks, right, when he has two the weeks. stubble, in two weeks when he has the stubble right. and it shows where it's not as much hair, right? he can actually grow. If he takes the products, he can actually grow hair yeah. where there wasn't hair. Where, where there wasn't hair. Bro, you got to do this experiment. I'm man. not doing that shit. You have I didn't to. want hair when I had it. No, but I'm just saying but see, as but an You got to understand, there's a difference. Some people, like he just said, everybody don't want hair. No, I, no, I get so that. He said, he I said, never wanted hair. I get right. that. He I said, understand that. I, there's people that don't want to brush, people that don't. So that's, I'm just lazy. No, I'm, I'm not. Cool. Damn, that's we can easy with you, shade. though. Nah. Why not? No, no, I'm, I'm not opposed to it, but I'm cut, saying. Let's cut all your shit off. No, I don't want to cut my hair off. No, let's cut it. And then you start taking the shit. You get, yeah, let's do that. Let's do the experiment. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> that doesn't make sense Why not? because my hair is. You would be better, I, better candidate no, than me because you, you want to grow hair. You have no hair, though. That's what I'm saying. You're a better candidate because you have no hair. But you don't see, have to he, keep but, it. But, but see, he has hair on the, he has facial hair. So if he has facial hair, he could grow hair on top of his head. I don't want hair. I, if I could, I would get laser everything and never grow hair again. See? No, but why do laser if you got the product? Because that's going to grow the hair. That's going to grow the hair. That's he, what you want to do. That's what but you no, need he to, said he, he. I don't, don't never want, want to grow he hair. He, don't want, he said he don't want to grow. I don't want no hair nowhere. So look, if you start taking the hair, skin, and nails, all it's gonna do is continue to help your hair grow. Gotcha. All right. I did, I did this experiment, and this is the outcome. Got it. My hair is down my back, and it's crazy. That's and I crazy. Keep it up. Male balance. Hey. Shout out to Charlemagne. Shout out to Charlemagne. Truly, uh, because uh, he put it on the map. Charlemagne, he he put it on the what's map. That do? He, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm green. I don't, you you guys do? have to understand something. <laughs> here's, the, here's the thing. <laughs> Same act of greeting as in Cialis. That's and crazy. Um. <laughs> So no, nah, it's that blue rhino, PB. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you can go get your girl a good, good anniversary. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I have blue rhino. <laughs> no, nah, so that male balance is for kings because of the fact that <laughs> we eat a lot of we hey, eat a lot of political answers are fire. I love it. I love it. <laughs> you know, it's for the kings because of the fact that from the age you're 16 to Shit, I don't care how, what age bracket. Mm. Let's say 75, 80, whatever, right? Your body become unbalanced because of the foods you eating, you drinking. Some people smoke. Some, you know, some people do drugs. So the yeah, variety of things. A variety of things mm. starts to decline the body to where now your body's unbalanced. Now, those those nights you ready to get it popping in. Beep. What? You you're not ready. <laughs> right. You weren't ready. You or ready. or you know these <laughs> youngsters today do lean, do right. drugs, right. do all these pills. Go to the grocery store, get those like you said the red. Rhino, right. The, they go get the mystery pills yeah. from the liquor store. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. You don't know what's in it. Mm. You gambling with your life for 20 minutes, if that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So the male balance is not just. Boy, <laughs> put it next to me. It's the sex drive. Uh, it helps balance the body. It helps your blood pressure. It helps your cholesterol. It it balance the body, bringing the stamina, the endurance back. It helps the prostate to go, prevent PB. prostate <laughs> cancer. You looking at it? You got it. <laughs> People trying to look at the ingredients and shit from over here. No, I'm, I'm listening. Yeah, listen. so <laughs> you know, it's a it's really beneficial. And for people who have a high sex drive, they they love it. Yeah. Body it's, toner, fat burner. That body toner tones the body naturally. You know, instead of you taking protein powders that look like dog food and you scooping it pre-workouts and now it's breaking out your skin and your kidneys being affected by it, that body toner naturally tones the body naturally, burns the belly fat, get rid of water retention off the body, great energy boost before the gym, after, and it also increases the endurance and give you Great energy. Man, I ain't going to lie. I start taking that before my workouts, and I definitely feel a difference. Detox. That detox. That's the one. That's the one. That's the okay. one. Because, see, detox going to cleanse every cell in the body. It's going to cleanse the kidney, the pancreas, it's the lymphatic a system. It's a reset. Where most cleansers, you could do a colonics. That's not pulling all the bacteria. You could do some, you know, form of drug and think, hey, yeah, uh, you know, it's working, but... That's going to pull 
half of what you're really trying to pull off the colon. Because, see, there's the lower intestines and there's the intestines where you're about to eliminate. So you want to cleanse both of them. Then there's the lymphatic system. You want to cleanse that as well. And then our pancreas and kidney get clogged because overexerting your digestive system with beef, pork, cheese, rice. This is how constipation. This is trying to break that shit down. It has to break yeah. it down. So now that detox cleanser breaks everything down and you feeling good like DJ Head. Next level right here. Who the bitters, this LA. Is, this is the bitters. Yes, sir. Okay, now this is the next, this is a different what is, level. What is the bitters? Yes. What's this? The bitters, LA, is a product that we brought to LA in 2016. Um, so was it like New York bitters too? Or is it just? I no, want no, actually, no, no. Okay. I want I want Chuck to take a shot of this. Whoa. Yeah. What it, no, what is it? Hold on, let's, let, let him explain <laughs> wait, exactly said, what it is. No, you, told, you, you, you told us yeah. to do our research, so I'm, you know. Yeah, so. And I want PB to PB, take a shot PB of this PB shit too. trying to get the, okay. the, the, the uh, what's that, the. Uh, the male, what is that shit? Male balance. <laughs> male balance. He, he popped pop two of them. He popped two of these right now. He already <laughs> opened it and popped it already. He's ready to get ready for the night. <laughs> Break down the burrito and, and shit. Mercy. <laughs> um, no, but what's what's this? What's LA Bitters and what does it specifically do? Um, the Bitters LA. Oh, that, Bitters LA, sorry. That, that is a product that um, we brought to LA 2016 to the Taste of Soul. Okay. And I was out there uh, giving out bitter shots to people that was there and their energies. What the bitters does for the body first, it's a nourisher, it's a revitalizer, and a cl- uh, cleanser. So it's going to cleanse the body, it's going to re-nourish and revitalize. I can already tell so, by the name. You know, mo- most households have NyQuil. Mm-hmm. You know, you gonna, your mama say, go get the NyQuil. <laughs> well, in my country, you're going to drink bitters. So instead of that tussing. Instead of you that tussle, you're going to get bitters because I have so many different natural herbs that purifies, revitalize, get rid of mucus, bacteria, inflammation, anything. The bitters is going to help. There's no way, because I'm assuming that it's bitter. Oh, it's, yeah. I'm assuming that it's bitter. I'm how you take a listen, shot. No, listen, listen, I already know what I'm setting myself up for. There's no way to make it taste better. <laughs> better? I come, you you I do wish. your research. I been I wish. There's no but see, like 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 my grandfather would say, that's the bitter side of life. Hilarious. You know, life is not always supposed uh, to be sweet. So you need a bitter side. And that's the bitters right there. All right, so look, this is what we're gonna do. Wait. Just smell it. <laughs> Cause I can't he smell, said, but just smell it. What does it smell like? It's sm- low key kind of smell like kombucha. It don't smell. It will. All right. So look, let me show you what to do. So the dosage on this says take one tablespoon per week or as directed by you. Right. Right. So one tablespoon well, per. How do you figure out the, the dosage that somebody's supposed to take? Because, see, with the bitters, you only want to take that once a week because it, it, it electrifies the immune system. So you, along with the other minerals, you're getting a lot of minerals okay. into the body. So what if I'm not taking minerals. many minerals, but I'm just taking this? Then you're you're doing a great job anyway. Just by taking one 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 tablespoon, tablespoon a, week, a week a week. If you take one tablespoon and put it up for say six months, so that's, now you're that's, talking to that, me. That, that's because I'm not gonna lie. Everything on here is it's a, it's overwhelming. Oh, I, I'm taking I, eight a day. Eight of these? No, eight pills a day. That's it's, it's overwhelming. I'm not saying it's bad. Or, uh, it's just over. It's a also, lot of information. I yeah. want you to speak to. Hold on. Let me pull up. Let me get the sea moss real quick. I want you to speak to the caplet itself because a lot of people think that this is plastic. Oh yeah. And, and the actual explain I the love caplet. It. Um, that that capsule right there is is a vegetable capsule that's going to dissolve and cleanse your intestines. That's not. This is pork. not plastic. That's not plastic. It's, it's not made pork. From a plant. Yeah, that's the vegetable. So the sea moss one is that. No, all of all of them. All of them are made with everything is is a is a vegetable. It's not made with pork. Because I just thought about it when you usually everything everything we use take pills. You don't know what that kind of is. That little it's it's pork. It's what? Either it's plastic or they making that capsule is a gelatin pork capsule. You gotta be shitting me. Yeah, no, it's made with pork. You don't want that for the body. All right. I'm thinking I'm doing something because I don't eat pork. So this is how this is how I do it. This is how he showed me how to do it at the shop. So I go to the shop. He pulls the bitters out. He's like, now this is the next level. 
He's like, you ready? You want to go to the next level? I'm like, let's go to the next this level. This don't sound yep. good when you're saying <laughs> so, that. That's exactly. And, what I'm, he said. and this is gonna sound fake, and I'm not, and I'm not saying that it's cured me. But when I tell, so I've been having. So the reason why me and Isaiah connected initially is because I have been having heart palpitations. I've been having real bad anxiety attacks, panic mm-hmm. attacks to the point where I like felt like I was gonna faint, pass out, mm-hmm. and it just recently came up top of the year. Mm-hmm. And so I explained everything to him. Then I told him about this. I got with this dietitian or whatever, and he started having me eating like all these. He was eating. Having, he had me eating a six ounce steak every day. Wait, he? No, uh, no, not doctor. me. Not, oh, not, not, like, not him. I was like, man, what we doing, I dog? With, you I, just told us. I got with this <laughs> no. nutritionist, okay. Okay. quote unquote, a nutritionist. Yeah, he, he, got with it. he was a bodybuilder type okay. dude, and he wanted me to eat a six ounce steak every day. He he brought up my meal plans, yeah, and I did it. I did it for like two weeks, and I just felt terrible. Mm. And I was just like, and I and I went to Isaiah at the shop. He's like, look, bro, I'm gonna just give you everything and just tell just he's like, just do it and tell me how you're feeling okay. in a week or two. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, because see, he was telling me how he was eating six ounce steaks every day. I'm like, why was you eating a six ounce <laughs> steak every day? He was like, Well, the nutritionist told me. And I was like, the nutritionist told me. <laughs> <laughs> what said, nutritionist? I said, then I started saying, what nutritionist? I said, Well, look here, this is what we have to do. So I don't know what that nutritionist had you doing. So I want to reset mm-hmm. the complete body. I want to detoxify completely so we can build your body back. Hence to why all That's, of the pills. Right. Okay. So now you're going to do our male First. detox package because within that time, he started gaining weight. Mm-hmm. He was having headaches, he said. He said his anxiety was, you know. Alone. Anxiety. I thought I had anxiety full blown. Mm-hmm. Like I went, I went and got a therapist. I, I've been going through some shit the last like four months. People don't know about but I went and got a therapist. I had changed my diet. I went, I was going, I changed my doctor because I told I said, I was like, every time I go to my doctor, and this is white dude in Burbank because it was close to the radio station. I go to my doctor and I say, hey, my back is hurting. I have sleep. I, I've been diagnosed. This I never talked about this before publicly, but I diagnosed with severe sleep apnea. So I have obstructive sleep. There's two kinds, three kinds of sleep apnea. I have obstructive sleep apnea, which means that's why I snore. Anybody who snores, you have sleep apnea. I don't know if right. you know that or not. But yeah. if you snore, you have sleep apnea. So, But I got diagnosed with severe sleep apnea, which means I completely stop breathing in my sleep. I haven't slept on my back in three years. I don't That's sleep crazy. on my back for that reason because I, I wake up and I can't, I'm like, I feel like I'm going to die. So I sleep on my side and on my stomach. I've gotten so good. That's why I also be tired all the time because I've gotten so- You're not so, really getting no efficient sleep. Right. I've gotten so good at not sleeping on my back that I can literally turn over in my sleep. And another thing that I've gotten good at, which is not, this is all not good, but I've gotten so good at my sleep because I have so bad of uh, sleep patterns that I'll be dreaming. And because I'm dreaming subconsciously, I know that I'm having REM sleep because you can only dream when you have REM sleep. Mm -hmm. REM sleep is when the body is actually resting. Mm -hmm. So when I'm having REM sleep, no matter how fucked up the dream is, I'll just stay in the dream knowing that I can wake up. (laughs) Like I'll be getting killed, shot at, chased, and I'm like, oh, let me just wake up out of this dream. Nah, I'll be like, nah, I'm having REM sleep. Let me get this sleep. Right. And I'll just figure out a way to maneuver the dream. It's fucked up. Okay, I mean, (laughs) real shit. Yeah. So... Anyway, long story short, me and Isaiah was having a conversation at the shop. I said, I'm having really bad anxiety attacks. Mm-hmm. I go to my, I go, I went, to, it took me two and a half months. Shout out to Miss Diddy. because I know she's looking for this. Shout out to Miss Diddy. She helped me find the only black doctor I could find in the Cedar sinai medical wow. system. I found a black woman. She's, uh, she's over in, 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 in uh, Marina Del Rey or somewhere over there. And it took me two and a half months to find, there's only one black woman in the entire medical system, in Cedar Sinai Medical, uh, their whole system, That's I crazy. found her. So I changed my prime. I'm paying a lot of money. I'm paying six hundred dollars a month for my medical insurance. I, I found a black doctor, and this is all because I was trying to completely change my whole shit. He was trying to change, trying to change my whole shit. I'm having severe panic attacks to the point where, like, I gotta leave. I gotta leave events because I'm having <laughs> panic attacks. Right. And, and and I don't know how to describe, but if anybody ever has panic attacks, heart palpitations, or anxiety in any way, your heart ramp up. That's why I wear the Apple Watch so tight so now because I monitor my heart through the app. But your heart ramp up, my resting heart rate will go up to like 90. And my heart start. I get dizzy, room starts spinning. Damn. And I know the feeling when it's about to happen. Mm-hmm. 
So it's kind of like, it feel like you got a shit, but it's in your chest. Damn. It's, okay? So I'm having this, this thing, and it's like a ball that sits on top of my heart. That's why I thought it was anxiety. Anyway, the reason why I'm telling you this is because as soon as he took a shot of this, he was like, trust me. He, he smiled and, and just poured it in his mouth. I'm not even lying to you. This is not marketing or nothing. As soon as I took this shot, I felt like that ball went away. The moment you took it? The, the moment I swallowed this shit. I'm not even lying to you. Now, no, I'm not going to say no. I haven't had any panic, any, any um, like, quote, unquote, what I call it. The doctor told me I don't have anxiety. And ever since she told me that, and ever since I've been on this shit, I haven't had any ta- any attacks. And it's been what? A couple months. Okay. So. It's been what, like, yeah, like two and a half months for DJ Hip, really. So, and I told him, like, bro, just give me a month. You got it. He was like, what? <laughs> you know, I'm a skeptic. Right, 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 right. right. He like, Even bro. with the spiritual advisor right, shit, right. I was skeptic about yeah. Now I'm like, like, I'm all what? in. Yeah. I was like, bro, what you going through? We're going to correct that in a month. I said, I'm going to put you on a brain food. I'm going to put you on a mail package and a brain food. I said, give it about a month. So here's the thing. Um, This is immediate. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's immediate. So you, what, feel what, it, you feel it immediately. So, what is it going to immediately do to me so, in this so say, moment? Say you're sneezing or you felt nauseous right now or had a headache or yeah. whatever ailment. It, that Whatever I'm dealing with. problem you're dealing with at that moment, mm. I'm gonna give you that bitters. You're gonna drink that, and instantly it's gonna start taking effect. I'm not even lying to you. I felt it as soon as I took it. I felt like, oh shit, I'm not, I'm not finna have a uh, an anxiety attack because it opened up the lungs, it opened up the central nervous system, it opened up the lymphatic system mm. instantly, because see, it gets clogged with mucus. Mm. From yeah. chicken. From from eating chicken. From the foods that we're consuming is compromising our biological makeup and we don't even know it. So as soon as he received that, that's like when you're taking these minerals and you're taking bitters, right? For example, just for the bitters. When your car needs an oil change, is it running right? No. no. Mm-mm. So once you get that oil change, you feel it. It's like, oh, yeah. I mean, you can you can run that mo, you can run that mo get to the ground, but you can definitely tell the difference once you get that that change. And I haven't. I'm I'm taking the tablespoon once a week. Wednesday is usually my day. Mm -hmm. I didn't take my dosage this week because I knew we was gonna do this. So I'm gonna take my dosage with you. So let me ask you this, and we we can get onto this because there's a lot of products, a lot of different things that you offer, right? Right. Um, And we'll we'll plug the website, let people know how to grab it, and obviously Mm -hmm. tell it. you, You you can let us know as far as your recommendations as well. Uh, but if I don't do all of this and okay. I just take the teeth, this now for you, you wouldn't have to do all that because see, you 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 not going through the same. Got you. I had a lot of shit going on. You had a lot so, going you see, on, and you so had to it, figure it, out it, what it was exactly to diagnose so for it. You, and then you would just need CMOS, some male balance, and some green food, and be fine. Okay. And if you do that now, when you do that shot of bitters, if you never do it again, it's gonna revitalize. It's gonna renourish. It's going to strengthen your body. It's going to pull out things that you probably didn't even know was there. Mm-hmm. And it's going to continue to happen for months. My shit floats now. It's crazy. I ain't ne- So I always thought that, and our shit is supposed to float, by the way. Yeah. Okay. It's not supposed to sink. Okay. PB looking at me crazy right okay. now. <laughs> no, for real. If your shit floats, <laughs> you fucked up. I just want <laughs> I know that's not the PC way to say it, but if your shit is at sinking to the bottom, you're fucked up. My shit is floating right at the top. <laughs> Where it should be. Where it should be. With those things you said that I should take, right? <laughs> Real shit. Right. If I just, again, and I, I'm I'm asking for a specific reason because it's that thing for a lot of people, again, it's overwhelming, right? And it, it they have to they have to apply that discipline. They got to do it. But if this one thing resets and does what needs to be done, Essentially, couldn't I just take this? You treating different re- different things though but, with but, the combination. But at the, at the, at the, but the LA average, but but does a lot or yeah, everything. You, you not go. What did you do every day? Huh? That's not. No, 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 you not every do. day. No, no, no. Once a week. Once a week. If I'm doing this once a week, yeah. Will I need to take the other products? Yes, you. Yes, you will. Because see, this is not for hair and nails. That's not, not for hair and nails. That's not. For male balance, okay. you know, there's different products for different things. So this is just to detox. That's the that's a revitalizer and a nourishing or strengthener. So that would be considered your cough syrup in your household. Got it. 
Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. You ready? I know I got one more question. <laughs> if I'm not eating clean still, or if I'm on my way, on my journey. On a journey. Right, on my journey. Because I'm, I'm going to really try to apply this. I'm, yeah. I'm really try, I'm, honestly, I love it. I'm trying to get on it, right? Um, do I... What am I trying to... How am I trying to ask this? Like, what do you start with? That's a better question. Where, did he start? Where do I start? Where do you start? Where do I start? Got it. See, for you, like I said, the sea moss. Okay. The electric green food. Boom. And the mail balance would be great. Oh, oh PB got the mail balance. See, that that'd, that'd be a great start because, okay. see, for you, you have your vegetable, mm -hmm. you have your protein, and you have your balance. So now, where most people go, you going to G CVS, you buying this, you going to Walgreens, vitamin C, vitamin C, and now Zinc. you got a cabinet full of the same stuff, mm -hmm. and they all it's vitamins nice. and chemicals. Where now, in your pantry. You have three bottles that have more minerals than the 30 bottles you have in your cabinet. That's the different concept. I was taking daily was vitamins. I still take the, the vitamin C chewables from Stop. Trader Joe's. Stop. 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 I, they taste need. good. Oh, well, see, you like it for taste. Keep it going, but <laughs> yeah, it, it, you don't have to. But if you like it for taste, cool. So is it counterproductive to take the products and still get that inside a burrito? Hey, I'm going to tell you it, like this. Is it not going to? I'm, I'm going to tell you like this. Once you start taking these minerals, your body not going to want to put that poison in because now you're getting vegetables. What you need. You, your body's becoming electrified. Mm -hmm. Your body is becoming one again. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, why Why are you poisoning me with this? Now you're going to feel it. It's going to be like, oh, I should eat that burrito. I, I, I'm going to tell you. Your I'm body's going to start rejecting it. I don't eat regular sure. ice cream no more at all. That's big. For you, I don't eat no dairy ice cream. I gotten rid of dairy completely, ex wow. aside from aside. You should have said that shit from the jump. I, aside from, I still had I had some cheese last week because it was it was cheese for the taco uh -huh. that I had, and then I had um, that's it. Is but I only like get I only get, and I know it's sugar and it's still bad, but I only get vegan ice cream, and I found ones that are fire. So you know what, I, I commend that what he just said because. In the initial conversation Cause, cause me, that we was, that we had, that, yeah. uh, he was like, "Bro, you want me to give up steak? <laughs> you want me to give up cheese? <laughs> I'm gonna do yeah. ice cream." But the fact, but see, that shows the discipline. Yeah. That shows the willpower. It's and the really dedication. a mental thing for sure. And his he was tired mm -hmm. of being compromised and sick. Mm -hmm. So now, once uh, out of the thousands of hundred thousand people I've seen, none of these people have ever said after they get results, I'm going back to eat that cheeseburger mm -hmm. and that chicken and them fries. And mm -hmm. it doesn't happen because mm -mm. once you I'm done with dairy ice cream. Okay. You see but what I'm saying? I, I got I got yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm done impressed. with I'm done with dairy as soon as I as, in general. I just gotta figure out a, a dope vegan cheese op uh, option. So he's Really a, a disciplined person, right? I pride myself of being a disciplined person person when I want to, right? Now, this is, again, I'm being selfish. I, I talked about my family. You know, our, our parents, our grandparents deal with a lot of these ailments as well. How do we get them to get on board with this? Because it's not just Older 20, 30, 30 years of programming. We're talking about 60, 70, 80 oh, yeah. years of programming. So what do you, what's your recommendation? We're talking to our parents, our grandparents, older aunts, uncles, to get them to apply these products or, you know, the lifestyle, more importantly. And see, that's what Dr. Sabies was teaching us. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what he went to the Supreme Court justice for, to show our people that we don't need a doctor anymore. We have the tools to heal you mm -hmm. naturally with minerals. Our bodies, our melanin is designed for oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon. With those minerals right there, mm -hmm. that's putting all those components back into the body to build your alkalinity and keep your immune system strong. So why do we need pharmaceutical drugs if we have the herbs that's of the healing of the nation. Yeah. So now, when you go back to your grandparents, correct? Mm -hmm. 
Yo, grandma, if you say, hey, grandma, you know who Dr. Well, Shady is? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. This is for my mom. My mom and, her, and, and my step pops. Okay. Like, so now, so. you moms and step pops don't know who Dr. Sabi is. They do. Oh, they, they familiar. Well, you know what? Mm -hmm. That I applaud that because mm -hmm. most households didn't know. They didn't know, yeah. They didn't know before Nipsey Hussle right. mentioning it. You know, the passing of my grandpa and, you know, left eye. If yeah. it wasn't for those people, you didn't know. No, we're we're, from, we're definitely familiar. And That's I dope. think here here's where things kind of take a turn. And what I'm hearing from you, what I'm kind of extracting from the conversation is really the knowledge and knowing the information and the discipline, right? right? So another, and, and I know we can keep on going, but my father, he passed away 10 years ago. My condolences. 10, or 10 11 years ago, right? Prior to that, he was diagnosed with cancer. Okay. And... He refused to get medical treatment because mm. he said he's going to get on the herbs. And his health starts to decline even more, right? So in our mind, we're like, bro, what are you doing? Go to the doctors, get, get your shit right, figure out what's going on. But he's like, nah, I got these herbs, I'm good. And his health declined. And, you know, he passed to something else, but he had to get surgery and get that shit corrected, the cancer at that point. Um so in the back of our minds, we're and, and this could be a variety of things. Could have been the wrong. If when I'm hearing, it could have been the wrong herbs. It could have been whatever. But those are the things. And when, when I when I talk about these things, like when I say it's so overwhelming, it's like, okay, we feel like we're getting the right information, right. but we're not. You know what I mean? So right. how do we decipher what's correct, right. what's not correct? We'll like, see. And in that moment, if you if you could play in this situation, if right. I had a conversation with my pops then right. to let them know, like, okay, you you taking the herbs, but things aren't going the way that we all or you anticipated. Right. So then, okay, now, Pops didn't want to go to the doctor, which is another cycle mm -hmm. of our society because you got to think, men are the most unhealthy people, period. You don't want to go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go. Most men wasn't going to the doctor back then. Right. So you telling me it was your dad didn't go to the doctor? I, we, we, I know that. Right. It's thousands of households. This same thing. Same thing. So now dad went to the herbal route, mm -hmm. but even with herbs, we have to use the right herbs. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he probably uses herbs, but what herbs was he using? Right. And that's you the know? information that I don't have. And that's the have. information, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So then it's, it could have been herbs, it could have been vitamins, it could have been his own teaching, it could have been a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. But with with the healing of Dr. Sebi, if I would have got to your dad, nine times out of 10, dad probably had what, prostate cancer? Mm -hmm. Right. So dad had prostate cancer because dad had high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. So if dad pressure was high, it's prostate. Mm -hmm. Diet. Right. You get what I'm saying? It more so was diet than anything. So now we could have gave him the proper treatment, put him on a proper diet to help fix that. And it goes back to the male balance. Mm -hmm. See, the male balance is one of our top products because it prevents prostate cancer. Ah, and they also have female balance. And right. we have female balance as well. So then, you know, with the proper information, that's why I'm here today. Mm. Because we have to educate our people on what's right because there's so misleading information. You don't know what's what. Mm. You know, just like the Irish Mars, you're like, well, damn, I thought that was good. No, that's not sea moss. That, right. and, and everyone who come from taking Irish moss and go to taking our sea moss. Well, I didn't even feel like that. Yeah, well, if you're not feeling something that's supposed to be natural, then what are you doing? Yeah. Right. I want to do Let's take this, man. Let's I want to do this before we talk about the village. Yes. And then, oh, and then that's we right. can wrap. All right. So this how this how he showed me how to do it. I mean, you could have a you could use a I teaspoon know. or a measuring, but I'm going to just pour it, right? All right. Wait. That's a lot. That wasn't a teaspoon. That's a shot. Hit that. That wasn't a teaspoon, bro. Hit That's the bit of that. That wasn't a teaspoon. You did more than a teaspoon. Just, just do the same thing I did. <laughs> I ain't yeah. doing nothing. Not the way you looking. <laughs> PB, you do it too. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Can you confirm that he take more than a teaspoon? That was a lot. You could just 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 take a little bit. You'll be you'll be good. You're gonna love it. Gonna Watch how you feel in ten minutes. Just, just <laughs> yeah, it's gonna this show nigga you can't even speak. Hey, sweet, Chuck. Let me see. Hold on. Give me 10 more seconds. To see. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck said, hold up. Man, let me see what's, just, that, just, what's going on. Just, what's just, happening? Just pour. <laughs> he over there really good. 
<laughs> just pour. Are you gonna pour it? <laughs> nah, hold up. Hold up. Don't. And, and let me see how much you're gonna pour. You gotta pour enough. Just pour it. Just pour it. Uh, you know, just enough. You'll be good. Uh, all right. <laughs> I'll take a shot with you. RPB. Hey, hey, I'll, hey I'll, I'll take the bitters every day. Charles, I have to. Chase, my two sons. Look, I love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's doing this for good health. Okay? Just pour it. I'm just saying. I just this day. Look, look at Uncle Head. <laughs> just pour it. Right, Isaiah. Just pour it. Let me tell you. I'm gonna tell you when, how much. Go. All right. I'm gonna tell you when to stop. Stop, stop. Swallow it. Swallow all of it. All of it. Oh, my God. Yeah, Wait. The, <laughs> that's the bitter side of life Wait. right there. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the family, Chuck. <laughs> Yo, I'm I'm not bullshit. <laughs> I haven't drank in seven years. This tastes like a shot of some goddamn... Uh, <laughs> this ain't no alcohol? No, those are herbs, sir. This li- no, this literally tastes like a shot of like Patron. <laughs> I'm not Patron. lying. <laughs> no, it's the first really time I ever. <laughs> I never heard that one, bro. It That's tastes new. like, and maybe because I ain't had alcohol in a while. And- <laughs> I ain't know I'm drink, nigga. I know. I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you. This is what Patron. a shot tastes like. Really? Yes. PP, come here. Come, <laughs> come here. P- no, I need. I need somebody. I need somebody that. That that that's drink before. No. <laughs> PB, come on, come on, PB. Because look, he knows all the no, he knows all the shit. He don't drink. I need you to just confirm that it tastes like a PB, shot. PB, come stand over here. It's not like I'm good now, but that initial come shot. Come here, PB. I got it. PB. He said I can't do it. <laughs> PB, welcome to death row. Come on, man. <laughs> PB said no. He looking at y'all face. He said, no. PB said I'm no. used to it now. Herbal but the first one roots. was like, that's oh it. my god. 14 different plants in there, Chuck. No, it definitely tastes like a shot, for sure. When you when you come to Honduras, you get you get you get you get the bitters as well. So another thing that I want to know, and we can close it out. No, not close it out. We gotta talk about the retreat. Retreat. We spoke about left eye earlier. And one of the kind of disheartening things about that whole situation, right? The tragic situation of her passing was like, yeah, you spoke about it, how she was there getting getting that enlightenment, getting her body right. Yeah. Is you could answer, you don't have to answer. But with her using her platform to kind of speak on that, was that a fluke, the situation that happened? <sighs> that, in in your personal that, opinion. That's, you know, um, that was the most tragic thing that happened. It was devastating to both sides, you know, her family and ours, because the Lopez family became like, family you know so during that time it was like she went on a journey she went on Regis she talked about all these things she was in Honduras she bought land she opened a school and then boom she just passed you know um because of the roads in Honduras back then you know it's only two ways you can go you could go straight you can go you know, it's only two roads. We don't have freeways with six lanes. Lane, right. No, it's two lanes. That's it. And, you know, it was a truck. She veered, went into a ravine, um, was ejected from the vehicle. And because she didn't have a seatbelt on, you know, she went through the window and hit her head on a rock and ended up dying. So it was very tragic for both sides. And, you know, um, it was devastating for the family. But, you know, the energy of Honduras and, you know, what she left is still there. Like, it's beautiful, you know. Um, And Honduras is a place of love. It's not a place of, you know, robbery and theft. And, no, it's a beautiful place where I feel everyone should come there at least once just to, just so you can step out the comfort zone of, what you see every day in America, Mm -hmm. you know, it's going to bring you back to the natural essence of what life was and what life is. And just to recharge and bring your body back to one essence is what we all need because here in America, the food is destroying us. 
they spraying us like we animals with, with the chemtrails. You know, the water is not good. Over there, our water is alkaline at 9.7, you know, naturally coming out hot at 150 degrees. Out the spring. Out the spring, you know. Um, drinking that water is going to revitalize. It's going to hydrate. It's going to enhance. But you can't drink alkaline water, right? N- no, you can't drink alkaline water. No, that's man-made. But oh, okay. that water that's coming out that house spring is naturally alkaline Got it. at 9.7. So that's going to enhance the body immediately. You know, um, we have the saunas, we have the fruits, we have the food, we have the resources to heal the body. Being there in Honduras, I've seen so many transformations, you know, from people. It's been incredible. So, yes, we are doing a retreat. Yes, sir. This is my second annual retreat. This year we got DJ Head hosting, which is going to be a vibe. Um, The Mind, Body, and Soul Retreat, I felt was something that was needed for our culture. You know, when I first did it last year, you know, I was young, you know, I was much younger, and I was just getting into retreats. Mm-hmm. And having that mind, body, and soul retreat showed me that all walks of life needs to get the mind, body, and soul in line. You know, we all suffering from something inside, either childhood trauma, your first girlfriend, you know, Mm-hmm. Dad left, dad died, mom died, a, a tragedy to where it's blocking you from going to your natural state of where you're supposed to go. It, people, everybody suffer some form of trauma. And when you come to Honduras, you release it. And you go back to the States a, with a different aura, different vibration, your, your, your body is alkaline, your vibrations are high, your blessings is going to increase, and you're going to become one with your mind, body, and soul. I remember him showing me the footage um, from the village. Is it, I, I messed mess, mess up the pronoun, pronunciation of the village. Oh, the Usha village. Usha village. Usha. Mm-hmm. So that's you know where his grandfather's from, um, the Usha village. Um, and he showed me the footage, and I was first looking. I'm like, damn, this is really dope. The, the food is fresh. The people are nice. Um, this is going to be my first year doing it, hosting it, and, and going and attending. Um, you can get all the info um, at usha at dietaryresolutions.com. So if you email di- uh, usha, U-S-H-A, right? Right. At dietaryresolutions.com, you get the email, you get all the information, the travel. Um, it's not that expensive, especially for this type of retreat. So I recommend... You know, and we only take it a small group of people. I'm not going to tell them that, say the number on air that we talked about, right. but it's really a small group of people that he's that we're, we're taking this year. And I just really recommend, you know, and it could be, and it's completely anonymous. Like it's not, not anonymous. We know who you are, but it's very confidential. It's a private, it's, it's a very intimate experience. And it's not for the phones and the Instagrams like that. Like you're welcome to, to do that, but it's more or less about, you know, if you have high blood pressure, if you got diabetes, you got herpes, you got HIV, you got these different conditions, high cholesterol, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Or if you're just looking to, you know, to do something different and cleanse, that's that's available to you. So we're doing that. And I'm, you know, I'm grateful to be a part of it. Yes. And we I just been, I've been, I share my journey. You know, we, we've been waiting to do this because I want to be on the products for some months before right. we did this. But. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I would, I would love to sit here and be like, "This is bullshit." Yeah. <laughs> right, I would love right. to do that. Well, Everybody who knows me knows that I would love to do that. That's not the truth. The lights are getting a little brighter in here, so I feel like my senses are heightened, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah. Don't you feel I like heard a light? PB stomach gra- growling like a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> Don't you feel a little different? I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, just, I'm awake. No, I definitely feel different. Um, but you I'm feel like it, Did you feel like you took an energy drink right now? No. Good. He drink energy no. drink. And I yeah, I drink energy drinks. Um, and that's one thing I want you to get off of that you said. Energy drinks. You're addicted to the caffeine. I know. They're very harmful and detrimental. I'm very well, I'm and not they aware destroy of that the prostate. But I'm I'm very aware that they're not and they the best what? things. And they destroy the prostate. Oh fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and you only drinking it for energy mm. purposes. But once you start taking those three, your energy will increase. 
Oh yeah, and you know you took the bitter, so your energy will gonna increase <laughs> before the <laughs> day is up. About to be just, ah, ah, the pop like it. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you don't want to try PB? You about to go eat a steak burrito, man? Yeah, you might wanna. He said, "Yeah, he, he, his eyes lit up for the steak burrito." <laughs> All right, oh. um, but yeah, no, definitely check that out. Um, you can go to dietaryresolutions.com. Yeah. Um, you can get on the products. It's different packages for different reasons. It's yes. all it, like it's completely like, it, and if you're dealing with any complications, it's just like when you're dealing with your doctor. Like they not, it's not on Instagram. They, now, if you choose to share your experience, like I have, right, then you know you're welcome to do that as well. But um, there's testimonials on the website for every yes. condition that we talked about. Yes, Man. we we have proof, you know, because see, COVID, our, our society. It's like, ah, oh, yeah. Right. But when you get to see results, it's like, oh, well, yeah, that really worked. Because, yeah. see, that's all we're about, and that's all our family always been about is results. And Have you treated people. personally somebody with HIV? Yes. Damn. And was it the same kind of experience as which, when, you, when your grandfather did it? Kind of, but he wasn't that far gone like the other Got gentleman. you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then also, too, I mean, something I also want to point out, these is, this is not a magic pill. No. You have to diet. So they have so along with everything like if you do the detox or you do the male balance pack package or whatever right. like the one he gave you there's a diet that comes with that yeah okay so you and you stick to that regimen of the diet because oh, the food you eat is helping the herbs so to answer the question no you can't be on the carne asada shit you can't be eating eggs in the morning and then mm, take the pills no but if you do that mm. then that's gonna be the last time you eat carne asada and eat that egg because your body's gonna reject it. Mm. So this is why you're saying you stick to this diet. There's a there's a diet it. that comes with every package. Is there, wait, is there a diet that came with this that I need to know about? Because <laughs> no. now it's a wrap. Like I've already ingested this. <laughs> oh no, you good? Oh, okay, you good? <laughs> like I want to be having the, the shits off camera. Oh no, no, nah. <laughs> nah, you're not just gonna start eliminating all over the place. Can you? I should have asked this before. Can should I have drank this off an empty stomach? That's fine. Okay. So I'm like, damn! I've been running today. I ain't. This plant. That's fine. It's I, what, one thing we didn't get a chance to talk about, and we'll 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 probably save it for the next conversation. But what's the, is there is there an update or the status of the documentary that uh, yes. Nick was, was um, talking still, about Nick Cannon? You know yeah, what I mean? we still we still in the makings of the documentary. Uh, it's actually finished. We're doing the editing with Nick, and yeah, we'll be coming. It's still out. with Nick. It's still with Nick. Okay. Yeah. And then, so how, did, was his was he on the products with your grandfather or with you? Uh, he was on a product with me. Got you. Uh-huh. And then, so that's how that relationship got forged. And uh-huh. then he was like, I want to do a documentary on this. Yep. Wow. Damn. And then, you know, because Damn. of the passing of Nipsey, too, as well, you know. Um, was the documentary initially with, initially with Nip? No, it was just Nip talked about yeah. doing the documentary. It wasn't something that was already being documented already. Got you. It was after, you know, myself and Nick and... Uh, Nipsey's family decided to make that documentary. Wow. So the documentary is a co- collaboration between you and you and Nick Cannon. Mm-hmm. Got you. That's what's up. Yeah. Has Nick gone to the village? Yeah. Word. Nick has been to the village. Mm-hmm. That's fire. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Nick too. Uh, is there anything? To do that. Is there anything that we haven't covered or talked about? I mean, we've been talking for a while, man. But is there yeah. anything that we didn't mention that you um, want to make sure that the people know? <laughs> Minerals. Is the key to life. You know, we have products for kids as well. We have our kid moss that our kids taking, you know, vitamins and Flintstone vitamins and, <laughs> you know, the the chemical based stuff that's convenient. So, elderberries for kids is not. Elderberry. Never mind. We'll talk off. Yeah, we'll talk yeah. Off. Elderberry for kids, where'd you get it from? I, I'll tell you off. Yeah, we have GMC. Yeah, it's for some. Oh yeah, we we yeah, we're talking That's about what I'm that. Saying. Like, so the, these these co- these places these, where you okay. where you well, no 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 where, where you, you think it. where you think is healthy for you or you think you're doing the right thing. I think again back to my point. I feel like that's the the more frustrating part is that you think you're doing all of the right things. Right, getting your kids on vitamins, the Flintstone vitamins, or doing something like that just to kind of like adapt that that uh, or adopt that that habit. Right, right. But it's like. Oh, no, that's not the right thing. Oh, yeah, the water you're drinking is not right. Oh, yeah, you, yeah. you give me your kids because broccoli. That's modified. Like Because, see, we, we've been custom. Your mom gave you Flintstone vitamin, and that Flintstone vitamin didn't do anything. It was filled with food coloring and chemicals. 
But see, we can't blame our parents. No, absolutely. Because at the end of the day, they didn't know better. Our generation knows better. So we have to do better. We got the information. We got the information. See how you picking up that phone? Yeah. Right. It's right there. It's convenient. Our our, our moms didn't have Instagram. Yeah. You know what I'm but, saying? But so even with that, it's still, it's still deciphering like, what's right and right, what's, right, wrong. what's wrong. Right. So, yeah. No, the Flintstone vitamins, your your, your kids need kid moss. I got it. I'm sorry. One last question. Yes. And I'm, I'm done. With, with everything you talked about, your grandfather and, um, you know, him being very strict on the diets, like uh, was he ever invited to the, like the the functions, the 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 like the Thanksgiving? No, no, like Thanksgiving. <laughs> or, like was it was it a, was it a thing in the house? Like, hey man, nah, he can stay home, or, or was it like, nah, let him come to, let him be a part nah, of what's we, going we on? We didn't like we didn't have like traditional Thanksgiving. There wasn't no. Well, not not Thanksgiving per se, but I'm saying as far as like you, you said, one side of your family was yeah. On, and then, on, and on the bullshit G-pop, when it came to eating. Right. The and then G-pop, his side, nah. nah. So it was nah. like, was, did they ever integrate in terms of like doing things together? It was like, nah, you stay over there with that. Oh, no, no, no. Nah. Yeah, we, we we did that. Yeah, okay. we, you know, everybody came together, but you don't have to eat it. Got it. So right. when you go places and you, let's say you have a, well, have you, when's the last time you had a steak? Bro, I don't eat steak at all. Okay. You never had a steak? See, I probably had a steak when I was 10. When's the last time you am had I, cereal? In my dough years, no, no steak, bro. <laughs> When's the last time you had cereal? Like Frosted Flakes or just kid? Kid, wow. I don't, I don't. Frosted Flakes. <laughs> I'm like, what? Look at this crazy. Like, I don't eat that shit, y'all. Be eating. <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, I don't. Frosted Flakes. So if steaks, you were to sit down and have, you a... gotta understand something. Yeah. How much do you love yourself? I love myself a lot. Right. So if you love yourself, where do we get protein from that steak? Why? Why would I want to eat the steak? Why do you feel like I should eat a steak? No, I don't. No, I'm just, you know. People always say we need, like even Silas, when I talked to him, he said we need animal protein. Yeah, see? The the doctor told you you need animal protein. Silas ain't a doctor. But no, no, Silas is our homie. Oh, okay, see, you need animal protein. Why? Are It'll we give anim- you a reason. Are, I just are, don't know. Are we animals? Mammals. But but white people call us that. I'm sorry, Western eyes. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> but... See, this is a great conversation. I love it. Um, let's go back to our animalistic traits, right? So if you was in a jungle and we had to side with the gorillas, are they eating? Gorillas are are, are are vegetarians, huh? Yeah, right. They are they? Eat. Are they are they eating beef? Is he is that gorilla gonna kill something and eat it off the or or, or is he gonna get plants? I seen a gorilla, gorilla I seen I seen the gorilla kill another gorilla. I don't think I seen them eat one. No, they're not gonna they're not gonna eat. Gorillas another. eat are, are vegetarians? Yeah. Word. They're not eating. They get up to eight hundred pounds. And is he eating meat? Absolutely. Have you ever seen That's true. You're right. Have you ever seen an elephant kill a lion and got blood on his tusk? Never. Right. And what is he eating? But the lions do. How about they're at? Yeah, but the lions do. But are we lions? We're not lions. We're not tigers either. So why do we feel we need a steak? If this steak is filled with bacteria, antibiotics, and it's, when when was it killed? When did they kill that cow and send it to that store? How long has it been sitting in that store? What about fish? Fish. Fish right now is, oof. The water is filled with bacteria. So what? What now? What fish do most households eat? I don't eat tilapia because I know that don't. That's not a real fish. Tilapia. Tilapia is a fake fish. Yeah. It's farm raised. Didn't realize that for until like eight years ago. Like I what? didn't know about tilapia until eight years ago. You 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 can't go say hey we gonna go catch we all go get catch some fishing some poles but we gonna catch some tilapia. No, <laughs> no, it's not gonna happen. See, this is the conditions that we so been programmed. To what eat. fish should we be eating if we gonna eat fish? If you're gonna eat if you're gonna eat fish, let it be something wild caught. Like a if you're gonna eat fish. Like okay. if you if you you know Well sea bass, I understand I just found out about bottom feeders. Just you, like you, all the you, shellfish. You want a wild caught. Wild caught salmon, some trout, maybe. I started buying trout. trout after you told me that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, salmon. Salmon is salmon is good. Wild though. Wild, wild caught. Damn. 
not that farm. Most most grocery stores sell them farm. You want wild. You want wild card. And Everything. most of the wild card is salmon sockeye. And those if, are the wild ones. Okay. Those are the wild. You want wild card salmon. You want wild card trout. And that's it. I started buying And you're trout not going to eat me. it every day. Mm. So this is how you start winning yourself off. Okay. Mm. Uh, back to the gorillas. 85% of the diet is made up of leaves, shoots, and stems. They sometimes eat snails and ants. Roots and barks. That's crazy. But 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 he's eight hundred pounds, 800 pounds yeah. and not eating yeah. a steak. Uh, so the mindset and the mind control and how we've been programmed is the problem. We've been get a steak, eat these eggs. I'm protein. Mm-hmm. Eat these eggs to get this steak. I get mucus, inflammation, high blood pressure, parasites, and constipation. And then I could borderline get colon cancer from this beef. So uh, okay, I promise this is my last one. Nigga, I promise. No. That's it. I promise. Because no, now now what do you it. what do you do for the for the babies? My kids don't didn't eat me. Babies. No, but I'm saying like so right now, like my kid, my my got another one, he's three months. She breastfeeding, right? No. Nope. Similac? Yeah. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he got a couple more months left on the Similac. No, man. we got to get him off the Similac now. I don't know, man. We That's can't. Complete. What's the substitute for breastfeeding? Man. If you go, go get an organic formula. That's okay. better than Similac. Right. Similac has a lot of chemicals, oh. soy. Man, this is a great interview, bro. This, I appreciate so, you, man. So, God so is no damn, good, you know. And these yeah. are the conversations right, right, we have to right. have. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely, because we we think that. The things that we're doing is good. Yeah. You got a three month old. Get him off the Similac. Okay. Mom still have time to do a little breast pump, but if she don't want to breastfeed, go get an organic formula. It's expensive, mm. but it's a better alternative. And then we can incorporate now the kid moss on that baby mm. so he can still get the proper nutritional value that is he the kid needs. moss chewable or is it No, it's it's not chewable. It's still so a caplet like that, big? Uh huh. And you could break, break it, it down and okay. put it in the milk. Mm, okay. And then if you don't want to do similar, like you could use hemp milk. Okay. That has a lot of protein. Much better than similar. All right. Soy right. base, chemical base, no good. I just feel like it's a it's, it's I'm not gonna front. I now I, I appreciate the information. I hear you. Yeah. I know for me it's easier to discipline myself. Right. Getting everybody else on board, that's gonna be the toughest challenge. And it's just it's okay, overwhelming, so look, bro. That's what I want you to do. You see how we research? Mm-hmm. The gorilla, mm. go home and show wifey the harmful effects of Similac and how that causes birth defects and indigestion and poor dieting for our children. Can I just, I feel like this is going to keep, last one, I promise. So what people would say to that and what I would think is like, oh, we did it with the other one. No issues. Why? Why not? Why not continue? Why not now? Yeah. Because look at how they had a recall on Similac recently. Fuck. All right. I'm done. That, that, you I'm know, right. we, and we can leave it at there. Uh, yeah. But I'm going to make sure we get you that kid moss for your Please little do, man. man. Now, I, I appreciate the conversation. Yeah, I think, it's been I think great. It's, it's, it's more or less sparking the, sparking the dialogue. And it's going to get uncomfortable, to be honest. And yeah. anybody that's listening and watching and you know, it's going to be uncomfortable conversations to do this. But, I mean, if you, again, you want to eat to live and make sure that, you know, you're doing things the right way. And, ah, this is, it's a mind fuck for me. I ain't going to front. But, oh. see, at the end of the day, this is why, as American people, what we learned, we are allowed to relearn. Mm-hmm. So, as we continue to relearn, we can break these generational curses. Yeah. I'm un- I unlearned a hell of shit and I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I appreciate I, you. I appreciate you, bro. Um even taking the random because I'll be I calling. <laughs> I'll be calling all times a day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, You're not the look. only one do that. Well, the world does that like, call him like randomly. It'd be ten o'clock at night. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> Man, can I eat this? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Is this okay? <laughs> I'm out of town. Is this cool? <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. Um uh liquor, alcohol. I wanna get that elephant out of the room too. Alcohol, is that something people should fuck with? They shouldn't fuck with? Obviously, you shouldn't fuck with it, but... Yeah, yeah like, I, I tell, you know, for our generation, we, if they drinking, you know, I tell people, you want to... The 
the vodkas, the Hennessy's, all that stuff is going to destroy. If you were to drink alcohol, what's the what alcohol should people drink? If you were to, if you are drinking alcohol, which you shouldn't be drinking alcohol, get a tequila. Tequila, mm. okay. Like, you know, an anejo, an, something that's made with one hundred percent agave. Okay. Because it's made from agave. You told me to get rid of honey and start using agave. I did right, that. Right. You know. Yeah. So get the. Agave. I stopped buying honey. That, hey, head, you you doing great, bro? I commend it. You know, most. I buy blueberries, strawberries. They still. They, I gotta go to the farm right and get the real shit, though, bro. bro. That's that's impressive because, as kings, in today's time, the discipline and the dedication, of what you've been doing is not always there. You know, being in this health, what what can you consider this health world? It's more women that take care of themselves than men. Mm -hmm. But now I'm watching how in the last three years, men Men, are taking care of themselves more than women. Something else I want you to, real quick. Uh, Health-wise. Real quick. I use Dove for men. You told me to get rid of that. Yeah, get rid of the so we so the soaps that we use the soaps because yeah, it's it getting absorbed soaps into the skin. Like, come yeah, on, see, man, the, this is like a never ending. And I'm, it's not you, <laughs> it's not you at all. <laughs> but this is what frustrates me. It's like, damn. Okay, so I'm eating right. I finally got all, and then your skin I can't, is your biggest organ, my nigga. But goddamn, I can't. I can't. What soap should we use? Something organic. Don't don't use the soaps to have all these fragrances because you you you. Showering to get cleansed. Like what organic? Like give me Um, you could get like some black soap. You could get uh what else? Some neem soap. You could shampoo, get, same thing. Shampoo, same yeah, same thing. Uh wait, shower shampoo? Soap. So, oh, gotcha, so, gotcha. Um, even brushing your teeth. You could get neem toothpaste. You don't have to get neem. Neem. N E E M neem. Toothpaste. Neem toothpaste. Okay. Yeah, okay. you can get that instead of using like the. I use Colgate. Colgate, no. yeah, right. With fluoride in it. See what I'm saying? Hell no. <laughs> you see, you doing all this bitters, LA shit, all this. That's because I use Colgate. Man. See, that. now you can get the neem. It's better. You get the neem. All you right. Don't need all right. Fluoride. We good. All yeah, right. Because so. I. It's a lot. But. And you could go to our website. We have soaps. You okay. could go get the Seymour soap. You could get. We have a Yoni soap. We have a lot of different amazing soaps as well. So you could just personally just it's a one stop shop. One stop shop. Okay. Get the get our soap. Give me the website one more time. You could go to dietaryresolutions.com. Um, go to the dietary resolutions, follow us, and let's get healthy. Man, brother, thank you so much. Bro. Hey, bro. Appreciate you. All love. I, I might appreciate like you guys. this conversation. It's a lot <laughs> to <deal with laughs> here. Take, take another shot. Know, no. How you feeling though? I'm feeling, I'm, you know, I'm feeling. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. I gotta. I'm gonna have to let y'all know in a, a good week. Like, what's going on? We gotta get him on the on the uh, yeah. sea moss. Yeah, we gonna get him on the moss. Well, I appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much for I the conversation you. and the education. Thank you. All right, it's Homegrown Radio. Chuck Dizzle, DJ Head, Isaiah. Thank you so much. Appreciate Catch y'all next time. Peace and love.